What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a new episode of the TV4 podcast. We have a special uh, guest today. Uh, you want to introduce him? I really don't know, like, what... I don't even know what it is, really. Like, <laughs> we don't know the gender of this of this of our guests. So I mean, they're they're just chilling though. So you know, they'll walk around and just do their thing. Dude. Yeah, they're just gonna be hanging out. You know what I mean? <laughs> Look at this little guy. Yeah, we really don't know where he kind of just wandered, he just wandered into the studio yeah, and just followed us in here. Yeah, it does have a collar on, but like, it's not an actual collar with a tag on it. And yeah, they're just chilling in here. You know, isn't so, this crazy? Yeah, special guest. Yeah, we got special guest today, guys. So uh, <laughs> who should we name him? I said Fluffles. Yeah, Mr. <laughs> Fluffles is pretty cool. I actually like. Hey, what was the, what was the dog's name from uh, Rick and Morty? Uh, Snowball. Snowball. Yeah, but that wouldn't work because he has know, orange hair. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. It, it Garfield. Orange nah, that's you know, like Garfield too. is too on the nose. Yeah, I like Mr. Fluffles. Yeah, Mr. Fluffles. He's cool. He's a cool guy. Hey, Mr. Fluffles. But, um, yeah. Besides other like new friends, man, what's going on, dude? And we've been gone for a little minute. Yeah, to man. Be real since uh, Halloween. No more Halloween. How was your Halloween, by the way? Did you I was gonna ask you the same thing. We hung out Halloween, but you know. Did we? Yeah, we were passing out candy. Oh my god, we did hang out. What the fuck is wrong with yeah, me? I'm yeah, a terrible yeah, yeah. That was very last minute. Yeah, that was, was very last minute too. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, yeah. Pass that out. So. I mean, my Halloween was cool, bro. You know what I mean? Pass so. out candy with the homies, like a grown ass man. Yeah, man. Like I should. And then uh, I hung out my girl, shit like that. I was gonna pass out candy with my girl, but you know, I was kind of too lazy to do it after that. And I was just like, bro, my whole neighborhood. And it was dummy ass. It was dummy ass late. Yeah. Yeah. No, and plus. It, my whole neighborhood was dark. Like nobody had their front porch on, so I was like, "I'm not gonna be the guy to yeah, the try to save guy. the neighborhood." Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, Fuck yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but because uh, I was like, "Bro, I'm gonna have hella customers, dude." You know yeah, what but I mean? it was. Um, what about you? Though? Pretty lit though, man. Just chilled. You was just posted with the homies. Yeah, yeah, I was just posted and then went home. Fucking played Spider Man or some shit. Uh, okay, okay. But yeah, man. Hey, nah, hey, Spider Man, dude. I'm not even trying it's to jump good. into something random. Yeah, but nah, like, it's getting I'm, good though. Guys, I'm, I'm already not done. done. I already seen a couple of people saying it on the last episode that some of them finished, some of them just started, yeah, 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 yeah. just got the game and shit like that. I'm like, what percent would you say I'm? I am because you you're know like, the whole fucking thing. You're like, you're like forty percent. I'm forty percent done. You're probably like, yeah, like forty. 43 mm, around there okay okay yeah but i'm not gonna lie to you but this game is so fucking yeah, 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 crazy yeah, yeah, yeah. dude it's, it's fucking like tight. just the shit that they updated it with is insane yeah i you i know? recently just got like 100 percent. so i got like all the trophies like yesterday for that shit i see you already did all the missions like you took all the pictures you I did found everything. all the spider bots i literally have nothing left to do in the game hey yeah i did everything okay okay yeah, yeah, yeah. hey bro speaking of updates bro you remember a couple episodes ago i was talking about um and it was hella random too uh, I talked about how Mark Zuckerberg was doing the metaverse shit, and you were like, "No fucking way!" I already tore his ACL. Like, he did. Yeah. Was it during like the? I don't know. I seen a picture sit? of him like uh like on some like hospital bed and shit. Ah, okay, okay. Nah, well that's fucking wild. Yeah. But um, but not. Nah, you remember what I'm talking about though, right? The the shit mm-hmm, that we were saying mm-hmm. that was like gonna be like Ready Player One and stuff like that. Yeah, I remember. Oh, oh shit. He's all up on my stuff. Right but uh nah, basically when um when I was telling you that, ooh, you slapped me straight <laughs> in the face. When I was telling you that. All right, come here, man. Just calm down, dude. I uh, know he's going crazy. This episode is gonna be hectic, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah, and yeah, bro, lay down. But no, basically, I wanted to tell you this so bad, and I don't know if you even knew about this, but it's kind of an extension of what is even going on. Now we have another special guest. It's Shar. Let's put him on Why for like five Char seconds, dude. Now? I'm sorry, guys. Hey, Shar, what's up, bro? Hey bro, hey, you're actually uh mm-hmm. you're you're on right now, dude. We're we're live. So uh you're talking to the people right now. You wanna say something? Char, <laughs> so you have a chance to actually say something really good right now. Dude. Say something cool. Say something cool. Mike's over there too, if you want to say hi to Mike. Uh, I have an erection. Uh oh. Okay. Uh Char for president? Char for president for twenty twenty four? Okay, so uh, you, you, you not with the politics? Nah, bro. I mean, I think that was a pretty political thing to say that you have an erection, you don't think? Free Palestine, free Palestine, free Palestine, free Palestine. All right, yeah, Alrighty. that's cool. Uh, okay, Shar, yeah, that was pretty political. Yeah, I fuck with that. Uh, Stick it to the man. Yep. Yeah. He was over here smoking a little doobie. Okay, yeah. a little Duberton. All right, that's cool, that's cool. Hey, wait, where are you at? You at the house? Yeah, hit me after, bro. It's right. good, it's good. I'll see you, bro. All right, brother. What a character. I know. 
Well, uh, there you there you have it, folks. Char has a boner. So, <laughs> oh, he said erection. Oh, erection. Sorry. I thought he said election. No, he said erection. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's why you went the fucking that's why president. I said, yeah. That's why I said oh, okay. Sure. I was like, oh, all right. Well, that's cool. I mean, that's I think that's a cool uh, yeah, campaign. Yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. tell everybody you, you got a boner. Yeah. I was like, all right. I mean, fuck. I like it. it. You know, but nah. I was saying though. Jesus. I know he's showing straight. We get, he's trying, we're yeah, yeah. We're getting flagged. Now nah, I'll throw a little cat here. <laughs> I thought cat every time he does that. Yeah, that's good. But uh nah, I was gonna say though, what he what Mark wants to do is super crazy. And let me not even say what he wants to do. It's something that he already did apparently. And it came out October, like towards the end of October, apparently. And I never knew about this. I found out about this last week or a couple days ago, actually. Wait. Ah, oh, you bitch. Well, he scratched you. This motherfucker bit me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> Holy shit, he's getting feral, dude. Yeah, calm down, dude. Oh my god. Nah, but uh bro, and he ended up making these like meta I'm not let me not even say meta, but it's like I guess I could say meta. It's like meta sunglasses. Did you see that? Like they're like Google glasses, but you could just like Wait, what can you do with Google Glasses? No, because Google Glasses, you could, like, well, they didn't really work that good, but, like, you could see, like, the map, or you could see, like, text messages and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, so it's, yeah. like, they didn't really like that. Basically, like, emails or whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah, it's basically like that, but it's, like, OP, bro. It's, it's still the next. It was, like, um, they said if you're looking at signs and stuff like that and it's in another language, it'll it translate, translate it for you. Um, it was saying that you can literally be on live, you can live stream from your glasses. Whoa. I was like, what the hell? Like they even showed an example of this guy. He was on a racetrack and then it was like he was he was showing it on his phone. Like he was just recording like live streaming on his phone yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. And then he was like, all right, switching to glasses. And he taps his glasses like this. And then you just see like the screen go from the phone onto his glasses. That's clean as fuck. Yeah. And it shows like how the people are seeing it that are watching it. And what it's just like, it looks like so imagine how crazy that will be. You know what I mean? And there was a bunch of other stuff too. I think it was saying, um, what else did they say? I think it was like it could translate what people are saying to you and nah, stuff like that too uh, or something like that yeah i was like bro what that's crazy you, you know, could like, translate I'm, like like real time while yeah. talking to someone and it's translating it perfectly as yeah, you no, said and it's wild. just like typing it out that's crazy. and i'm just looking at it like oh okay okay i feel you you think they'll ever make a thing where it's like uh like i'm speaking but like a speaker comes out so like when i'm talking it will translate it to like a different language so if i wanted to talk to someone like in japan yeah i could speak to english in them and then they will like there's speakers on the glasses that while i'm talking mm, it, will it sounds it. Yeah, like japanese. japanese to them yeah that i think we're eventually gonna get that because to that's be real insane. with you bro the fact that the you fact could that, already do that like that's actually impressive you know what i mean so that's already super impressive yeah, yeah, that yeah, we're yeah, gonna yeah. be able to just be like oh, okay i can look at this like apple i gotta see how good it how good it'll work though like yeah. when you're because i'm gonna lie there's certain people who like in other languages that talk very very fast, fast. so i'm saying yeah. like i don't think they're or they don't to... talk even like let's say even in their yeah, language yeah, yeah, they don't like, speak really well yeah yeah you know so what i mean like yeah it's probably not gonna because like imagine this like it's like even some people that speak english you can't even understand these motherfuckers yeah and they're from here yeah oh god like, yeah. it's not like they're from another country or whatever <laughs> yeah. they're from america it's just and like i can't understand and i can't understand yeah, a yeah. fucking word you're saying guy you know what i mean yeah you ever shit but i mean i'm like but you're speaking so fast and you have like a crazy accent you know what i mean but it's like but you're speaking english yeah yeah and you're american <laughs> like you were born here nigga. yeah you know so i don't know i think it's like yeah, that I wonder how they will handle those situations, because even like because think about it, even though we're so far into the future of like, you know, we can fucking text somebody across the world and call and FaceTime or whatever. Yeah, yeah. There's still errors. Think about it. There's still text errors. Yeah. You know what I mean? And there's still stuff like that. And so why wouldn't there be those type of errors? Like, what would they do about that? If like, you know, I'm talking to some Indian guy and I'm translating what he's saying, like the glasses are translated what he's translating saying. translating wrong. And he's, let's say he's speaking his language, but he's speaking it a little weird. Yeah, or like a Just like slang, that American guy said. A little slang yeah, or something like that. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So it's like, and it might not pick up some of those words because it's like, oh, that's just slang in this certain part. Yeah, so it's not be able to, yeah. That you makes know? sense. And that makes sense. You know what I mean? So when I seen these glasses, I was like, what do you think the extent of this can go? Like, how far do you think these glasses could go if it if is they work, good. I was like, if they work properly, yeah, that will be hella fucking good. And you imagine, I, I'm pretty sure, like, uh, like pe- what are you thinking? Where's your like head people going? like on airplanes will probably use them, like people that work Ooh. for airplanes and shit probably use them a lot. So they could talk to people, or like, even I think that'd be even good for like, uh, like doctors and shit. Like, if they have like a patient yeah. who like speaks Spanish and they don't speak Spanish, they could use the glasses. To, and especially if hey, you could you get a prescription, I don't know if they'll be able to give them prescription ones, but if they do prescription versions of those glasses, yeah, that would be fucking insane. No, I was even gonna say, you know, it'd be even wilder, especially you're getting into the medical field what if they did make some glasses that would be able to like really see certain nah, like things x-rays that's what i'm glass, to say. Yeah, that's insane. you know what i mean but then again it's a little dangerous yeah hell yeah what the fuck yeah 
you make real extra. That's gonna blow up in your eyeballs. Yeah. No, 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 I'm not even talking about that. I'm saying like. Oh, oh, okay. I guess, I'm, you know? I'm thinking of the radiation that it could fucking. Oh, you're going you there. Know? I'm going yeah, yeah. creep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I did not think about. But when I think of an extra, it's like you're just gonna see bones. Mm, true, true, true. Yeah, it doesn't just go to like boob. Yeah, it doesn't just yeah. go through clothes. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> and unless there's a doctor that gets off on yeah. that, like, oh, oh my man. god. Look at her bones. Yeah, yeah. Look at her fucking rib cage or yeah, something like that's that. You crazy. know, crazy. Yeah. yeah, nah. But not for, I think it would work good for just shit like it, like I'm mostly like focused on like the the whole translating shit because that's fucking crazy. I think for like people who travel a lot, you know, oh, people yeah, who, like yeah. travel for like business and all this shit. Like, I think that'll make it way easier. Hell yeah. Think about how much yeah. time you would save Fuck from yeah. having to learn a new language for a couple months before you go. Oh God. But but the only thing it is is gonna. It only works for you getting it. Like, you trying to talk back to someone is yeah. going to... Unless they have the glasses, too. You know what I mean? But, yeah, like... Yeah, 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 yeah. If it yeah. becomes such a normal thing where people is just, like... People are just buying those glasses and it's, like... You know, they make them look cool or whatever and people are actually, like, wearing them. Oh, God. I think, yeah, they could go crazy with this shit. I mean, even when... Remember when we were talking about, like, how Elon wanted to do the... um How they even FDA, uh, FDA approved that chip? Like, putting it in people's heads and oh, shit yeah, like that's that? that's crazy. Bro imagine even that what that would be able to do you know what i mean like a farther extent than these glasses it's like that shit bro you probably could sit there and actually just be like bro hey go to japanese mode man and i'm, I'm sitting there nigga, japanese. you know i stand the hell good and i'm really speaking my shit yeah which is crazy as fuck and then it's just what it is and i understand this guy and then we're having like a real conversation a deep conversation in, ja in japanese man, at that point that's just general like cyberpunk type shit like you literally like yeah. installed a japanese chip into you so you can speak japanese or something Nah, on oh god bro like hey wait, wait wait brother you just said something this is a whole nother thing i just wanted to ask you this and i'm curious you just said cyberpunk and it just made me think about anime instantly of the 20 what was this what was it called again 2077 yeah, something, something like that. Yeah, but um, dude, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I was telling you earlier a little bit how uh, Attack on Titan just got finished, and oh my god, bro, oh my god, so good. I just want to ask you this question, okay? And we'll get back into the you know technology shit, whatever. But I just wanted to ask you this real quick: What would you do in this situation? Basically, what that nigga Aaron did, he basically was getting ready to destroy the world. This yeah. is your boy. Let's say it's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I activate this shit to destroy the whole world. I activate the rumbling. Would you, do, would you be, are you the type of person where it's like this? I would sacrifice basically everything or are you the type to be like, I got to try to save my nigga, bro. I got to try to find a way to like make this work. Or is it like, you know what? Fuck it, bro. The only actually, no, no, no. Let me say it a little bit better. Cause that was probably a little confusing. Either you get rid of me, nigga. It's like, bro, I'm going to kill this nigga. Regardless, we can't, there's no other way that we can do this shit. Yeah. I'm not even going to try to find another solution. This nigga is already going crazy. He already activated this shit. Let's say I already did it. Mm -hmm. Are you just instantly going to be like, bro, we have no other choice. We got to kill, bro. Or are you just, are you going to try to find another solution around it? Be honest. And it's me. Keep it real. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you went to that extent, what yeah. fucking Aaron did, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think I'll probably try to kill you. Instantly. You're just like, yeah, bro. I think it's just bro. like, I'm like, bro, you fucked up so much shit. Like, yeah, that's even, like, I killed your mom. Yeah. That's what I'm like. I'm like, yeah. even if I do try to like reconcile with you, it's like, what, what, are, do what is everyone else going to think about you? You're the guy <laughs> who set all this shit off. Like. I'm not going to be able to protect you from, like, all these motherfuckers that you fucked up. You know what I mean? I, I think, like, yeah, I would have to. And I think I'll be so mad, like, if you killed, like, any of the other homies and you killed, like, my family. Oh, yeah. and I killed some of the homies Your too. family and yeah. shit. I'm like, bro, you are really bugging out your fucking mind. I probably wouldn't try to kill you. I'll probably just try to, like, like unlock some fucking crazy anime power <laughs> that I have, like, stored within me or something. And I'll probably just beat the fuck out you. Yeah, try with me. Yeah, and then I'll probably like lock you away in a prison for like fifty years so you can come back in a later season and fight me again. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> He's doing it for the plot. <laughs> <laughs> You're stupid as fuck. You trying to keep the fans happy, bro. <laughs> I think that would be good. I think that would work out. Nah, that's cool, but like What would you do? Ah, uh, if it was you, bro, I'm gonna be real. I'm being realistic. I think my first thought would be like fuck man like i would just sit there and be like mike why I'm I'm probably, crazy. i'm gonna be real <laughs> <laughs> laughing and now, shit. If you're that version like because <laughs> he was more so like he just seemed like sad like, yeah he was okay, just kind of okay, like yeah. you know what i mean like he's just there's nothing to him anymore 
you know after that if you're like if you're the crazy guy like you're damn near a fucking trickster <laughs> yeah i'm gonna have to do it i'm bro. laughing i'm like yeah. i'm go holding my hair <laughs> my hair's all long and shit and i'm like <laughs> Yeah, at that point, bro, you got to go, bro. <laughs> I'll be real, nigga. But, like, if it's the other way around, I would want to talk to you first, bro. I would just want to know why. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, like, don't get me wrong, bro. Yeah, I would have to I think I would have that before, before the fight. I would be like, why? Like, yeah. you know, like, why the fuck do you fucking do it, man? But I think after you say, like, your, your, your bad guy speech to me yeah, or whatever, yeah. I'm going to have to just give you the hands. Okay, yeah, because I was thinking about that shit. I was just like, damn, like, what would you that do? That is such a crazy, like, I've only heard of, damn heard of, like, two anime shows that have done that. I don't really watch anime like yeah, that, but, it, like, yeah. Berserk and, like, Tap on yeah. Titan. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like your boy turns into the fucking main the villain. Main it's, villain. It's, it's like out of nowhere. It's like he was Obi, the protagonist. It's like Obi-Wan and Anakin type shit. Bro, it's like, like, I'm telling you, that trope is so good and, and especially when you write it well but it's that's so what, like even like the Anakin obi-wan thing that's not even the same thing because it's like true you know he's gonna turn into darth eventually because because you know those came out after the original oh, true, 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 so true, you know true, he's true, gonna true, be true. darth vader yeah, 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 but like yeah. for those ones it's like you don't you start the coming. show like yeah. oh these guys are just cool They're guys cool fighting guys. these fucking weird beast thingies yeah yeah and then it's like he holy becomes fuck. the reason why and you know what's even crazier about attack on titan that like when we all figured it out it was like what the fuck it was the fact that he started everything. It was always him, huh? It was always him. Like, basically, in the beginning of the show, like, you see, you probably remember this when you watched, like, the beginning of the early shit, when his mom gets eaten in front of him and stuff like that by, like, a big-ass titan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When that happens, he basically made it happen. He was able to see the future. Like, bit, since he was a kid, yeah. he made it happen like that so the whole history, like, the story can go the way it went. That's so he crazy. Can, he can activate the rumbling and everything like that. So he was like, my mom has to die. In so order to set this, in order to set yeah, it that yeah. way, yeah, that's insane. Super weird. So it tricked. It had us all confused. Like, wait, 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 wait. But I thought the whole reason why he even joined the scouts and everything like that was because what his mom died yeah. and he wanted. He hated Titans. So then it throws you like, whoa. So he knew all this. It's like it was like the past, the present, and the future were no, all happening insane. at the same time. Yeah, for him, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean. Yeah. But but I don't know. Like that trope of like your boy. I just think that's the biggest betrayal, nigga. You know what yeah, I mean? Of like. Ah, I don't know, but yeah, this weekend was just crazy, bro. Seeing that shit, I was like, "Yo, imagine your homie destroys the whole world." And that's world. just done. Yeah, and it's done now. That's it. That's correct. You, you ever? Know? You think they're ever gonna bring like a spinoff or? Nah, because the way that he did the world, dude, it's like nothing could happen. It's anymore. never gonna <laughs> like. I'm saying it's like it was pretty much like the meteor that hit the dinosaurs, nigga. Like it re, re it rewrote the whole world. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like there's no more Titans. Everybody's back to like basically like our world. It's like there's just people chilling. There's like boats and shit around and this, this, and that. It, it was like that. Don't get me wrong. But like, like that. After what he did. Though, after what so he did, yeah. it was like there's nothing anymore. Like Damn. none of that shit exists. You know what I mean? And he wiped out 80% of the fucking That's earth. That's fucking crazy. 80% of the population he wiped out. You know what I mean? Like imagine that. But I don't know, bro. That shit See, is just stories like that where it's like the good guys don't really win. I think those are so much Do you more think like those hit more to you than the yeah. good guys winning and saving the day yeah, to get yeah. the girl. That yeah, I think I think those hit because in a weird way those that's kind of like more realistic. realistic in a weird way. Even though kind of not really. I mean, it could go either way, honestly. Even in real life, but I just think those ones were like you spent all this time. You're thinking like, oh yeah, at the end they're gonna fight the bad guy kiss the girl and you know i mean everything's gonna go back to normal but it's like right off into the it's sunset like, nah oh, nah we're gonna destroy everything, everything that fucking happens in his whole show like like even like breaking bad like Bruh. fucking he dies at the end of the Bro, show you know I'm what i'm saying it's you, like, you're thinking whoa. like okay walt is gonna have a happy ending yeah. right and then the longer the show goes you start being like should he even get a happy yeah ending, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, you God. know what i'm saying so it's like man there's some good writing in certain things where you go like fuck me man like i like this guy but i shouldn't yeah you know like characters that kind of make you have a little bit of conflict in yourself man hits nigga i'm telling you because walt was one of them characters like he's one of those characters that people will categorize like him um patrick bateman like people will throw all these guys in like yeah, that category yeah, 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 of like yeah, yeah. you're such an interesting character because of the duality of you yeah you know what i mean and walter white was great because he started off like a chemistry teacher and he's like it's like he like he has a good thought it's like i'm gonna make money so that if i die of cancer like all my, my family is gonna go for my family off of this. but then like towards the middle season he's just like he starts i'm the fucking best yeah. meth he stops maker ever. losing his I don't purpose. Know if, yeah he does yeah he's he been lost his purpose he yeah. already had way more money than he needed to take care of his family and shit but he just Keep fucked going. with it too much bro yeah, like yeah. 
the streets really took control nah, of it. I'm bro. telling That's you, but isn't that shit. kind of interesting that it's like power gets a hold of you, bro? Yeah. Like once you, because I ain't gonna lie, even how I told you, like the quote that nigga said in the end of Attack on Titan was so dark. Like he said, it's he said it's crazy because like I was just an idiot that got a hold of power. Yeah. And I was kind of like, fuck, man. Like, that's so interesting to hear from this guy. It's like, same thing with Walt, bro. It's just that you just so happen to be a guy that never really had power like that. And you got power hungry, mm -hmm. bro. Because think about it. He was just a chemistry teacher. Well, Nobody really gave a fuck yeah, about it. Yeah. Exactly. And then now you're Heisenberg. Yeah. You got niggas that actually fear you. Fucking empire. Come on, bro. You know what I mean? Niggas are coming to you for shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like, what am I going to do? Stop? Man. You know, so I don't know. I think that's very interesting, bro. But, you know, and even to kind of tie it back to that uh, technology shit, though, even with that, bro, it's like, isn't that crazy that shit technology can be power now, too? Yeah. Hell yeah. Like, think about it. The people that know, let's say the most technological based people in today's time that know so much about the Internet, know so much about crypto fucking computers and crypto. Fucking, and yeah, dude, yeah. Bro, they're overlapping to fucking everybody. Hell yeah. Like, I'm talking about even the hackers. Bro, I'm talking about hackers are at a whole nother level now, bro. Like, some of these niggas can have an IT job. Man. But they're just like, nah, nigga, I'd rather just scam you niggas and make whatever the fuck and oh do God. it in the dark. And make fucking thousands of thousands of Yeah, off of, of dollars. you goofy ass niggas. Little by little. And it's crazy with this shit because it's almost like we're building enhancements for people. Bro. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's going to get to a point where it's really like cyberpunk where I could like. I was going to say. I can make something that can make me like run faster or bro, some shit. Exactly. Or jump higher or fucking fight better or something. Like and I could download like karate moves yes. in my fucking brain and that shit. That was a part of the show. That yeah, was that's crazy. Yeah. 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 So I'm saying like think about that though of like it could get to a point where nigga that is super dangerous where it's like these people. Because we were even talking about we said it's going to get to a point where everything's gonna get so technological based that even criminals are gonna have to become like fucking tech savvy hell yeah, hell yeah. to the next so it's like we already got niggas that are scamming niggas out of whatever the fuck online and this this and that but i'm saying even i think we talked about it before how like um teslas they have like apparently i think and i might be wrong i heard that there's like a new feature or something like that where um if let's say somebody tries to do some illegal shit or they try to like do some fuck shit mm -hmm. in the tesla that motherfucker will lock you in there and take you to the nearest police station or That's something like crazy. that. I, I heard some shit like that. I think I remember hearing some shit like that. You feel me? Too, and yeah. I was like, yo, what? Like, imagine that. You're a criminal. You're in the car. And you're sitting there like this. Shit. I gotta get the fuck out of here. And you're trying to get up out of there hecka quick. And then instantly the wheel locks on your ass. Yeah. You're like, what the fuck? Because they, like, get your license plate or whatever. Yeah. They could probably just find your car. Bro. And shut it down because I've seen shit where like, or it's just gonna keep you there. Yeah, because I've as seen as I've seen shit where this dude was like, uh, he had like a Tesla. And you know, you're supposed to normally park into like to get gas, but we'll charge your shit. Like you just park like right up to it, and then you just connect your shit to charge it or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like backing up into it, so he was like, like in a weird ass position where like other people couldn't like park it, and people were like, he was just, like all like perpendicular charging or whatever the fuck, like being hella stupid and shit, and like he was going viral on TikTok for it, and like. The next post he posted, like, he tried to, like, turn on his car and shit. And they, like, a message popped up saying, like, you can't use Tesla chargers anymore. Like, the superchargers can't use them anymore. What Because the of the fuck? shit you were doing online. Wow. And they really locked, like, he tried to, like, char like charge it with one of those and yeah. it, it wouldn't connect wouldn't to his go. car. Yeah, he had to go to, like, some other, like, random, like, uh, charging station that's not, like, with Tesla. Hey, and you know what I heard, too? That it's was kind of scary that no, they could no, 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 do no, no, that no, shit. No, like, this is what's interesting, too. I remember, um, and it was kind of a theory that Neil deGrasse, uh, Tyson had but it's a great theory he said he thinks what the world will be in the future is basically and you're gonna be like dude that's crazy basically every car is gonna be electric in the future every car is gonna be like you know basically like how teslas are right yeah i think they already said that like by like 2025 20, or 2026 or something like that they want all the cars in california to be all there. well i think that's just a wish but they said like if they're mapping it out they said probably by the year 2050 every car Every single car will be some type of like electric car. electric car and we'll be like plugging them in and shit like that. And what's scary about it is you got to think about it. That gives them super access to even our vehicles now because everything because before back in the day, nigga, a car was just a car. You we barely have fucking radio in that yeah, motherfucker. Okay. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. But now you got GPS. You have all this extra shit. You can yeah, sit there yeah. and stream on certain cars and do this and watch that. Netflix and and watch Netflix. Watch yeah. Netflix. Play your Xbox. Play your PlayStation <laughs> Five. No, for real. Everything. Is I think in certain PlayStation cars. is working with a car company. Yes, I think Honda they, no, or some shit. I forgot what it was, but they have a PlayStation built in the car. Into the car, yeah. Yeah. 
I'm telling you, like the wheels and everything in that car looks crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, this looks it looks weird. As yeah, fuck. it looks yeah, weird as yeah. fuck. But no, I'm but saying you, yeah, exactly. Like so, they're gonna be like, oh well, this this dude fucked up. Yeah, he, did, he didn't pay all those payments or whatever. Yeah, he's not gonna drive his car <laughs> all week until <laughs> yeah. he pays that motherfucker off. Yeah, just you want to go on a date this week, nigga? Guess <laughs> yeah, what? Yeah, You're not driving yeah. your car. Nah, that's actually that's actually insane. Yeah, so now they shut your car off. Like they shut the battery off. So yeah, you're not gonna really be able to like drive, that. nigga. For you're like, but I got work, and they're like, well, nigga, you should have thought about it. Why aren't you paying us? Yeah, oh God. What you mean go to work, nigga? <laughs> Where this money going? <laughs> yeah. We not getting none of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And we're helping your ass get to work yeah. every fucking morning. We're so. helping you get to work every single morning, yeah. bro. We've been tracking your steps. Yeah, I mean, we've been tracking your fucking miles, nigga. Nah, it's crazy that actually like. Yeah, we like nigga. We see you go like to the, that Denny's every morning before even, you go to work. Even even I think uh, like if you get a car from like a dealership. Like, cause I think I think my cousin had got a car from the dealership, bro. And mind you, he works like an hour or two away from here. Yeah. And I guess he was like late on a couple of payments, bro. They went to his job, bro, and took his fucking car while he's at work. They came and repoed his shit while he was at work. Are you serious? Yeah, he came outside of work like, where the fuck is my car at? Really? Yeah, and then he seen that like they they had came and like repoed his shit. What the fuck? Wow, duh. Yeah, see, that's too much power, bro. That's what I'm trying to say. And I think that's and then why. That, and that's now. Like, imagine in the future, that's like, what the I'm shit that they could do, yeah. Yeah, so that's why I mean, I think they're leading more towards that because of that reason. Because, you know what I mean? Like, we're already, like, even though, yeah, we feel, even how we said before, like, oh, you know, now we have cameras everywhere and we, do, and we feel so safe because it's like, oh, yeah, like, nigga, you ain't getting away with nothing. Yeah. But at the same time, you're not getting away with anything, <laughs> you know? Yo, so God. it's kind of like a double-edged sword of like yeah my safety is more but my privacy is less yeah that's a that's such a weird thing where it's like yeah it's like because we're more safe because everything's around us like we also just can't do a lot of the same shit that we we're able to do back then you yeah. know what i mean like which is kind of scary a little bit it's like yo what's going on and wait i forgot to even tell you what i was saying about the theory of like if all the cars are electric basically what he was saying is in the future they're probably going to have a thing where if you want to feel like you know old school or whatever the fuck they will they're gonna build like a track that you can drive old school cars on like an amusement park for like old an amusement cars. park for cars like if you're a car guy and you're like bro i want to drive like a 1987 yeah, or at that point like a 2000, 2014, 2014 <laughs> yeah you know honda yeah. civic <laughs> yeah. you know what i mean it's like fuck it bro i want to go whip and that's nah, what that's be. actually crazy yeah I didn't you know think just like that. how we go and we'll do like ride fucking, horses and shit yeah or we'll go and do um on the racetrack yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, we'll yeah, go yeah. drive the little carts or whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? Shit like that. It's like, see, I wonder if one day, eventually, when because I do think they are eventually going to convert all cars into electric cars. Like, yeah. you're you're not going to be able to have a gas car. What would happen if you do have a gas car though? <sighs> like, if I happen to keep my car for yeah, like yeah, 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 30, yeah, yeah. 40 years or some yeah. shit, like you're 80 years old and you still have, and I still have, have your car I still right have now. the car that I have right now. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like yeah. my, I let my fucking grandson use it or some yeah. shit, and he gets caught on the streets with it. It's like. Do you have to have like a special per- like you know you have to have a special permit, permit for having yeah, like a, yeah, 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 a yeah. car that drives on the right side yep, and shit yep, like that? Yep, it's like, yep, yep. are you gonna be able to like do I have to go get like a special thing at the DMV for this shit or like what probably, the fuck? Probably like, yeah. At that time, they're probably making like a new law. Nah, that's actually insane. You know, because you got to think about it, bro. It's like a lot of the laws that we have right now haven't really changed. Yeah, and I think they even I, I think we talked about it before, but I think s- it might be like in Texas or Atlanta or some shit. But they're building, I think Tesla is building damn near like a little town. Oh, okay. and like everything's gonna be like the streets will charge your car while you're yeah, driving, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, so it's like yeah. all the streets are built with this thing on the bottom yeah. of it that as you're driving on it, it's mm-hmm. like the it's charging char- pad for your phone and shit. It's yeah. like as you're riding on it, like your, your, your car is getting charged. But I don't know if that's good because it's like, isn't it not good to like overcharge your shit? Like, exactly. You so know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm I don't, constantly at full charge. Yeah, I don't know if that's pretty a, much. I Unless, well, I guess thing. if like I'm just like, but they might add an option where it's like you could turn off. Like, if your shit's fully well, charged, it, it will just start charging whenever it needs it. And no, then true, true, true. Or, but I mean, let's be real. The minute you leave the city, you're kind of fucked. Well, you're. Unless you go to another charging station. Unless you go to a charging station. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. But it's like, then your car is cool, though. But they're building that as, like, I heard that they're building that damn near as, like, a like a basis to see, like, if that shit goes cool, mm. like, they'll implement that into, like, bigger cities. Like, LA will have, like, a street where it's like you could charge your Tesla if you drive on the street type shit. Wow, yeah, bro, that's gonna be wild as fuck. I ain't gonna cap. I mean, that's I could see futuristic. It. As that's fuck. what I'm saying. Yeah, and I could see it. They're definitely gonna uh, implement that into the major cities first, like L.A., Las Vegas, um, fucking Miami, or you know, just yeah, Miami, shit like that. Just those type of places. They're gonna for surely do that. Nigga, am I allergic? To cats? <coughs> Are you getting a little sick, dude? I think I'm getting allergic. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> nah, but besides like that, evil gene, uh, <laughs> like fucking the Dr. Evil and yeah, shit. I mean, yeah, well, he's, he's chilling there, man. But no, I actually had this one story I wanted to tell you, bro, that is fucking crazy, bro. And it happened October 1st, 1985. And it's about this girl named Michelle Avila. And she was just like a regular high school girl, bro. She had pretty much like two homegirls. Her main friend was like this girl named Karen that they were best friends with. But eventually, Karen and then her other friend, I think her name was, like, Laura. Eventually, Karen and Laura started getting, like, jealous of Michelle. Like, pretty much saying, like, that, you know, that she'd be sleeping with hella guys and shit like that. And she like, gets around. Yeah, that she gets around. Just started making hella rumors because they were, like, just jealous that she was, like, hella more popular than her and shit. One day, uh, Laura goes and picks up uh, Michelle from her house and shit. And Michelle never comes back. They eventually take her to, like, some creek or some woods or something, bro and end up like beating the shit out of her and they fucking drown her like in the creek and they throw like a like a they say like, no like a like a hundred foot like log or a hundred pound log they like put on top of her and shit and she ends up drowning they end up finding her body like a couple days afterwards but the crazy shit is is that the girl karen and laura were like pretty much blamed it on these dudes like just like laura was like oh yeah i dropped her off like she ended up like leaving with these random guys because you know they used to say that she was a whore and all this shit yeah and they're like oh yeah we like she ended up leaving with these guys so i don't know what happened to her and the girl laura bro ended up like moving in with michelle's mom what and like karen would like go like hang out with her mom and then i guess that like laura would like go to like her cemetery and shit and go like, to like with the mom I don't know if she would go with the mom, but sometimes she would go by herself to the cemetery and, like, go to the creek where she had, like, passed away and shit. And I guess that, like, in her room, she would have hella, like, fucking, like, newspaper clippings of, like, what happened to her and, like, pictures and shit like that. Like, this bitch was really trying to make it seem like she didn't fucking do anything. Wow. Crazy. So she really tried to, like, yeah, go yeah, deep yeah. Into it too for a what the fuck? And then, you know what I mean? Like, trying to make herself seem the most innocent as she fucking could, which is fucking crazy. But eventually, um, they ended up finding out that they were actually the ones who like killed her bro they, they both got locked up but they both got released because this happened like in the 80s i think they both ended up getting released like in like 2012 or something oh yeah what the hell crazy bro i'm fuck. not gonna lie to you and that, that shit and that girl laura i think she ended up they made a i think they made a movie about this but i think the girl laura tried to like write a book or some shit like that and like uh michelle's family ended up like suing her are you serious? Yeah, like after she, she got tried a, to write a book or like make a movie or a, a series based on the shit. Goofy bitch. How crazy are you <laughs> that you kill a girl in high and school? And he's trying to make a fucking series out of it. Insane. Wow. Bitch trying to make a Netflix special. <laughs> Goofy ass. Crazy as fuck, huh? Nah, bro. I'm not even lying to you. The fact that you even said like a book or whatever the fuck, you just reminded me. Loki, and this isn't even my story. I don't know if you heard about this. You, you seen the movie Lovely Bones, right? Bro. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? That shit is fucking crazy, bro. For bro. the people who don't know, apparently the girl who wrote the book, the author yeah. who wrote the book for Lovely Bones, and they made a successful and movie they made a successful starring movie Marky starring Mark, Marky Mark, Mark Wahlberg. Mm -hmm. The lady apparently, because I guess back in like the nineties, when she was in college, right? In college, yeah. When she was still in college, she claimed that this man sexually assaulted well, her was she had she got well, she did get sexually assaulted but she said that one day when she was on the street walking yeah that she had seen him and was like he's the one who did it yeah and then just like that boom he's locked up for like 16, 16 years. years and then now recently like i think last month bro the end of october the end of october this was like two weeks ago Yeah, he just got out he just got out because i think that she just admitted that she was wrong or whatever the fuck crazy as fuck before i even go into all the other shit i want to get into we might as well what do you think about that bro what a crazy bitch no not even just that is he that not lost crazy 16 years he of lost fuck life. 16 and years all of she life. said she was she didn't dare even like apologize to him she was damn just like oh yeah like sorry that happened to you like she bro. never said that sorry i did that to you yeah. she was like sorry like, that happened yeah to sorry you. that that happened to you bro. it's like bitch like no 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 no. you took 16 you years took of my 16 life 16 years from life because you fucking thought that i like sexually assaulted you yeah and you want to know what's even crazier i was even seeing a couple of people that were basically being like well i mean yeah still like you know the the um the court and shit like that are still gonna pay them and stuff like that i was like are they though bro no no, no. this is you can hear it on the microphone that's crazy but no even beyond that though i swear to god Dude, even if they paid for it, do you think them giving me, it don't even matter. Y'all can give me three mil. Yeah. Y'all can give me four mil. 
Do you think $4 million is going to give me back 16 years of my life? Bruh, and you got to think about it. When you went in, he was probably young, bro. That's so that's much important saying. parts of your life, bro, that's just gone. You're locked up for some shit yeah. you didn't even fucking do. Bro, that's what's ridiculous about it. Because it's like, what are you going to do after the fact of your whole family, your friends, everybody thinks that you're a Yeah. No, actually, because your whole the whole time... You did get convicted. Mm -hmm. You were locked up for 16 years. And every time, probably like one of your mom's friends or one of somebody else came, hey, what happened to uh so and so? Oh, yeah, he got arrested for fucking. Bruh. You know what I mean? Or it's like, think about the people you probably went to school with that you're probably never going to see. Like, we got people in high school that we're never going to see again. But it's like, yeah. imagine if the last thing that we heard about happening to them was that they got locked up for fucking, you know what I mean, SAing some girl. That's all we're going to know. You know what exactly. I mean? That's all we're going to fucking go by unless we, like, keep up with this shit. Because that, that is so fucking sad that happened to him, bro. Like You feel me? And, and like, I'm, that's what I'm saying. For shit like that, bro. Why? Go ahead. The girl should get in trouble, dude. No, no, no. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like, bro. Why is like no penalty? Give the bitch a fine or something like that. It's like. No, 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 no. Because, like, think, think about it like this. Look. Is that not crazy? If you yeah. abandon your, your child, right? Yep. The government will take money out your fucking paycheck. Oh, not even to just pay that. The off. Not even just that, oh. nigga. If I don't do certain, bro, they could throw my ass in jail. Yeah. For not paying for child support. Do you you know that right? They could throw your ass in yeah. jail. If if I keep ducking and dodging yeah, child yeah, support, yeah, yeah, yeah. they can keep throwing me in jail, bro. I heard this story. There was this guy. He was super old. I think he was in the army. He married this girl because he ended up becoming a millionaire. He married this girl who was like a little bit younger. She uh she would always take this nigga to court for child support and constantly bro kept sending his ass to jail and the craziest part is this guy bro he was like um he was disabled she didn't even care he was hella old he was disabled when they seen him in the court they were like are you they damn near looked at the girl like this is who's the fucking you're, you're you're damn near evil like yeah. why are you doing this to this old man like kept sending his ass to jail bro he even was able to literally how fucked up he was he was able to pull off his jaw what the i'm telling fuck? you yeah how fucked up he was he's able to pull his jaw off and he showed them like yeah there's a lot of stuff wrong with me i you know i have a lot of medical bills and stuff i have to do da, 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 and you feel me but i don't understand why they keep just sending this nigga to jail that's he's super insane. messed up yeah super messed up already and they keep sending his ass to jail so i'm like bro either some they're gonna have to make a law about that or something because bro it keeps happening and you got to think about it if nobody is getting a consequence from it bro why would you think that it's bad or why would yeah. you think that somebody else isn't gonna do it because they see this other bitch over here do it it's like oh okay well, walking around in san francisco yeah, with groceries and shit. it's like bro amber heard perfect example she was partying in cancun a week after she shit in his bed <laughs> you pooped in my bed yeah, yeah, you cut yeah, my yeah, finger yeah, off yeah, yeah, yeah. you did all these things it's crazy and i still see people be like oh yeah like johnny, johnny depp is still a monster you heard what he said about her yeah he called her a whore and a bunch of other stuff like that but you cut my finger off. Yeah, that's crazy. You pooped. You there's feces <laughs> in my bed. But like, damn, like too lot. Cause and the only reason why we know about that, and not even that much people know about that, is because she wrote uh the, that fucking book. You know what I mean? That turned into a, like a crazy ass movie. But it's like, imagine to the, the people that that happens to where they're not famous at all. Exactly. At that's all. What's, it's that's just some crazy. random white girl yeah. or a random girl, or whatever. And this other dude who just happened to be walking down that street yep. that day, and she was like, that's the guy who fucking did it. And it's like, what? Because I even seen, like, there's really no evidence. It was mostly At just all. her saying, yeah, he did it. He I remember it. I remember him doing it. Yeah. I remember his face. And they're like, okay, yeah, throw his ass in jail. Yep, lock him. Crazy. Just like that. That's what's so interesting to me is that, like, I'm going to be real. Like, girls don't understand how much power they got in that sense of, like, you could literally just, if you want to, let's say you're mad at me, you could just be like this. You know what, nigga? Fuck you. He touched me wrong. Mm -hmm. You're going to jail. Sorry, buddy. And they can lock my ass for as long as and damn near they want. And see, that fucks it up for like the real when, victims. When a real girl, when something yeah. like that really happens to a girl, because and now everybody's and, and they're telling ah, she trying to that send bitch her. is fucking. She trying to send his ass to jail, bro. She it's just like, trying to send this nigga no, to jail. No, this girl really was getting yeah. fucked up by this dude. Yeah, and there's real situations like this, but and I'm like, bro, that must. And that's what's hell annoying bro. because even recently. There was another situation. This is what I'm trying to say. This all happened in the span of like October to now, kind of. Bro, spooky there was the. Fuck. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> there was the. Uh, and even the story I got to tell you is kind of spooky. So it's like kind of, you know, it's funny that this is the yeah, tail. Yeah, or yeah, not yeah. the tail end, but the beginning of uh, November. But yeah, nice. You like that? <laughs> but uh, nah, bro, I'm telling you, though. Fucking um, this baseball player. I don't even know if you've seen that. I forgot his name. Uh, some people are going to know. His name's like something Bronner or I forgot. Fucking. I, I don't remember his name. But anyways, he. 
basically met this girl they she's like a normal ass girl he is like a major league baseball player mm-hmm. nigga this nigga's real deal and apparently he's like that so this girl is like you know texting him whatever he thinks she's bad she's fucking with him they're texting back and forth they're flirting 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 one thing leads to another they end up hanging out they kick it at his house right yeah and they kick it they end up doing their thing like adults mm-hmm. and it is what it is randomly she comes out and says that he um he basically beat her up and all this other crazy shit so he was like what the fuck whoa yeah bro so it's this huge news story that he whooped her ass he you know did this and that whatever the fuck and dude the receipts start coming out on this bitch something fierce one she was capping about uh the fact that no first off he didn't beat her up that's what's crazy yeah but Dude, they, somebody ends up finding her messages. I think it's the police or something like that. End up seeing her messages with her friends. Ugh. Dude, destroys her. Basically, it was like an Andrew Tate situation. Adam Bitches was like, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, we're going to yeah, get yeah. a Netflix special and all this other crazy shit. This girl and her friend are basically saying like, she's like, bitch, I'm so close to getting the bag. That's cr- insane. <laughs> I swear to God. Rip. I swear to God. And then her friends was like, yeah, girl, you just got to do this, this, and that. She was like, yeah, I just got to be a little bit more slutty tonight. See, motherfuckers just got to be like safe like be careful who you decide to lock shit up with you know what i mean because it's like no but is that not crazy that we'll teach everybody we'll say it all the time like bro niggas are predators there's weird guys out here we'll do that but we don't talk about predator women yeah like that or even like uh why jonathan majors like the girl that oh, was dude. claiming that he oh, was dude. beating the fuck out of her and shit oh dude she got locked up for beating on someone yeah thank you <laughs> Is that not crazy? <laughs> it's crazy. And we all, bro, Marvel, everybody was just like, bro, get this woman beat. Yeah. A woman beating majors. <laughs> it, it's, they're already thinking about writing. They, they, they never said they're going to write out, like, Kang from, like, being the main bad guy. Oh, he left. Oh, cool. Yeah, cool. I don't know where the fuck he went. He yeah. walked away, though. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, they're never going to write him. I heard that they're going to write him out, and they're going to uh, throw Doctor Doom. And like, it's going to be, like, more about Doctor Doom now, mm. which is what they should have been fucking did since the beginning. But other than that, it's like, bro, low-key Marvel is low-key on the decline. Oh, no, 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 dude. Let's even get into it. Everybody's been talking about this Yo. right now. There's even I forgot. I think it was Vanity Fair did a um, yeah whole a whole like thing yeah. about it. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. The cover for that is true comedy. Yeah, it's, it's like all the Marvel out. characters. They're like they're all just like this. Like damn, you're like in the whole like it's a crowd of like us, yeah, you know, just yeah, the audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all like on our phones and yeah, stuff, like walking past it, not paying attention to them. <laughs> yeah, and it's like Captain Marvel. It's like She Hulk and yeah, shit like that, fucking you know? Loki and yeah. a bunch of other characters. Okay, shit. I kind of want to get into it a little bit because I'm pretty sure some people are already thinking about it. Did you see the South Park? The newest one, the Pandaverse. I have not seen the the uh, the Pandaverse yet. Now I hella want to watch it though. I'm not gonna lie to you. It is true comedy, bro. I hella want to see that. It shit, is so. true fucking dude. They rip Marvel to shreds. For sure. Bro. Like they're getting on Kathleen Kennedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Cartman's like. Uh, I seen dude, clips of it. Yeah, dude, yeah. Dude, it's so funny. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like they were just like, uh, just even when they were saying like, oh my god, uh, I forgot who they said. I think it was Kathleen Kennedy or. Um, I don't even know. I remember if they had mentioned Kevin Foggy. They said one of them had the Pander Stone. That had me <laughs> crying. Hell of that had me <laughs> crying. <laughs> and then, but and I then, mean, bro, like, it's crazy how like it's so fucking. I also seen shit that uh, Mahershala Ali was having troubles on the set of Blade. That they're trying the to troubles. That they're doing a whole bunch of like, how hard is it? Yeah. To make it a vampire slayer who could walk in the day was also part vampire. Yeah. How hard is that? How hard is it to make that a good movie, bro? Like that's and then they, I heard that they were trying to like to like sideline him to like add like other other new characters. Oh to no, be no, no. The- they weren't trying to just sideline him. They were trying to make him fourth fucking fiddle, dude. They were trying to Blade. make this nigga. They were trying to make Blade. in his movie. They were trying to and this is what's crazy. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. This is terrible, dude. Mahershala Ali himself. People are gonna probably go, oh he's misogynistic. No nigga, it's a movie about Blade. That's why he was just like, dude, why am I here? He was probably really sitting there like, because he damn near told him, like, bro, I'm finna walk, bro. Yeah, he said he was going to leave. Yeah, he was like, bro, if y'all going to keep doing this, like, they, they already changed the director so many times, all this other shit. I'm telling you right that now. That shit was supposed to come out, like, last week. Exactly. That's what's crazy. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? That they thought they were going to be able to make it in less than a year. Yeah. And it, they could have if they just fucking stuck to the source material and fucked what, just did what we fuck with. Bro. But this is what's crazy. It was He was going to be with three girls and he was going to be basically fourth fiddle to these bitches and they said the story was going to be a story of um of understanding or i forgot what it was basically like something about teamwork and um some weird shit like that i was like bro blade with teamwork 
life lesson oh that's what it was they said um it was gonna be about life lessons or something like that i was like blade oh just make midnight suns like if you're gonna do that just make midnight suns at that fucking point bro it's like blade life lessons (laughs) okay bro i was like marvel i want to see blade kill vampires and shit i'm telling you bro i said y'all have truly lost i heard that they're gonna make it uh that i seen recently i don't know if it's true that they said i think they didn't do it just to get him back on though but they said that blade's gonna be rated r Cause I don't know if you've seen the uh, the Echo show that's gonna yes, come out. Yeah, TVMA. Which I'm not gonna lie, at first I didn't give a fuck about that show. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I did not care. But now that is TVMA, and I seen yeah. Kingpin's bloody ass fist. I'm yeah. like, where was that for Moon Knight? Mm-hmm. They skipped all the fight scenes in fucking Moon Knight. Yep. Yeah, they just made him wake up as Mark Spector or whatever the fuck. Like, bro, like I'm not gonna lie, you can even watch like the older episodes where we're talking about Moon Knight. Yeah. I, like it was cool when they first did it. Yeah, we thought it was hard. But the main. The final battle, I though. I swear to God, that was so anticlimactic. I said, "Dude, I waited five to six weeks for this shit, yeah, just to see him black skip out, skip the final battle, yeah, black out, and then he killed the guy, and it's a different version of him that we never seen. And then we kind of see him in the back of the car or the the car or whatever. That's when, he, yeah, that's when he kills him. It's like, yeah. bro, what the fuck, like? And now they want. I think the reason why they made Echo TVMA is because when Echo first got announced, everyone was like. Yeah, what we the all didn't care. fuck? Yeah, we were all like, who Dude. gives a fuck about Echo? Yeah, so but now they're like, to, they're like, okay, okay, they're like, hold on, okay, it's TVMA, <laughs> Kingpin's in, Daredevil's in in red costume. Daredevil's <laughs> back in red costume. Everyone's like, oh, okay, <laughs> all right. I'm like, tune in. <laughs> what are you trying to sell that <laughs> damn show? I'm so tuned in. Bad, bro. Hey, I would cap, like, but I promise you, I'm like, I'm going to watch the first couple episodes. I promise you, bro. And they said, uh, the writers of Better Call Saul are going to work on the show. Okay. So, See, no, they're trying to really sell the show. Next yeah, they're going to yeah, tell yeah. us, nigga, Tom Holland, Spider Man's in that <laughs> bitch, nigga. They're going to be like, yeah, he's in the, first, uh, the last three episodes. And we show Symbiote Skin. Symbiote Skin's going to be at the end of the, at the, end of the series. <laughs> <laughs> leading into Secret Wars. I swear to God, yeah, it's leading into Secret Wars. Yeah. You guys have to watch Echo to get into Secret yeah, Wars. Yeah. It's like, all right, bro. See, I, that's, I think that's where they started fucking up, where it's like, like the new Captain Marvel show. Yeah. It's like, I didn't watch, I never watched Miss Marvel. Yeah. So watching this new sh- movie, I'm going to be confused as fuck. I'm sorry. I'm going to be confused as fuck. If you didn't watch WandaVision, you're going to be confused as fuck. Yeah. It's like, that's the one thing I think where they're starting to fuck up on these movies. Like, you have to watch three, two other fucking shows. You know what I mean? Damn near like three seasons of another show in order to get this next movie that's coming out. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. I, I think it's like, that's where they really fucked up is that they're not, they haven't been focusing too much on single pieces anymore it's like they're trying to build so much of yeah, a universe yeah 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 it's so starting to fuck up that it's starting to mess up everything because that's you know? what was so good about the original avengers just like each one of those movies were standalone yep, movies yep. and they had their own structure and able to build up to this avengers movie which they built up their to time. like infinity war and yeah. all this other shit right because not gonna lie even towards the end of like after infinity war like going towards endgame mm-hmm. it was kind of like okay they are starting to do like they're starting to announce a lot of like weird shit and, yeah. you know, I'm trusting them because by this point, it's like, you know, it's all good. Mm-hmm. Everything they made has been fucking pretty decent, mostly. Yeah. But it's like after Endgame, though, it's like after like WandaVision, like Loki had came out, it's kind of like, yeah, what's I, going on? I really don't give a fuck about, about none any of this, this shit other that's shit. coming out now. Yeah. It's like Secret Invasion, that yeah. show that came out was, I didn't out even was, watch a oh single episode. I'm going to be real. I think the ratings probably for that were oh probably lower God, than ever. And I don't even know, you know, like the main scroll guy from the Captain Marvel yeah, shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He dies in that show. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's yeah, like, so it's if you like, watch Captain Marvel one, you're like, I love fucking Talos. I think yeah, that was his name. It's like, yeah. I love Talos in this movie. Mm-hmm. I can't wait for for him to show up in the second one. Yeah. It's like you watch the second movie. It's like, oh yeah, he died like fucking five years ago from fucking the girl with Batista arms. That threw me. That that took me out. I'm not even gonna cap. That took me out when I even seen it. I was like, bruh, like you know that what make I mean? No I was sense like, because like the whole their whole thing was like. This is a this is the super scroll or whatever, yeah. and we took DNAs from all these other like heroes and shit. It's like, when did Nick Fury have the chance to go up to Drax and be like, "Let me get a little bit of your DNA." <laughs> like it's like, Drax of all, like y'all couldn't get like you know me, bro, like yeah. a Spider Man, you know, yeah. or, or something, bro, like something that would make sense. It's like, yeah, I was like Drax, oh, that's why she, and it looks so weird. Can I be honest? The way she flexed with yeah, it, yeah, <laughs> that looks so weird, dude. Like I was like Marvel, what are you guys doing? The yeah, pandering is going. It's uh, to the point where you guys don't even know what you're pandering anymore. Yeah, it's like what is even going on at yeah. this point. It's really just like y'all what are lost. Ha- what is happening? Yeah, they even forgot what they were even making. <laughs> it was like, wait, we're doing Marvel? Wait, 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 we're doing Marvel movies? Holy shit. 
Bro, you know? it's like it's well, crazy. What the fuck is going? I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I've been watching Loki. Loki's. I heard the Loki's new season is still good. fucking good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so that's good. why they still have their things. Where it's like, okay, you know, maybe this is still good. Yeah. You know, it's like that's. I'm looking forward to. Yeah, I heard um, Woman B Majors is good too in it. Oh. Oh yeah, he's good as fuck in the show. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Jonathan Majors. Is I'm gonna keep calling him that because he didn't beat her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's he's good in the show. I like him as the fucking uh, fucking what's his name again in there. It's like some, it's some like old timey ass name or some yeah, shit. Yeah, but yeah, no, nah, it's good. But like, that's the thing. I'm like, bro, after Ant Man, like Ant Man was so <laughs> ass, dude. I'm gonna be real. I said it myself. I said that last fight was so anticlimactic. Oh Why would they make him and Kang go to the shoulders? I was like, nigga, what? Are you kidding me? These niggas was both like this. Yeah, boxing. I feel like I was watching Creed. I swear to God, I was like, nigga, is this you, Creed? Is this? Creed? I was like, nigga, I was like, Darius, <laughs> <laughs> what? Is this Creed three that I'm watching right now? I swear to God, what the fuck like, happened to Michael B. Jordan? Yeah, I was like, bro, what happened? <laughs> like, this I don't know, bro. I just thought that was so weird because I was like, okay, so he's the the Thanos of this new this and guy, he's, and him and Ant Man. This is the first time we're gonna see him fade. Is Ant Man? Okay, this is how y'all want to start our new MCU. Insane. Okay. I was like bro, actually yeah. insane. I was like because we didn't even see me, Thanos bro. like really doing shit into Infinity War. Yeah, that's what I'm. Before saying, then, bro. he was just sitting in a chair and smiling at the camera and shit, bro. Yeah. See, I don't know, bro. That shit is just. Oh, there it goes. He's back. Yeah, he's back. Scared the fuck out of me. But nah, that shit is just interesting though. It's like, uh, I'm just scared for them, bro. I'm really just scared for. What's I hope that they, you know, like, because I even heard about some shit with the Deadpool shit, where. Even the Deadpool shit is going to be... I heard that it's going to be tied into the Loki shit where it's like the whole movie is like the TVA oh, yeah, yeah, is going to be hunting yeah, yeah. down Deadpool, Deadpool or some yeah. shit. Or they're like... Because, you know, the, the TVA, like like in Loki, they're there and they're like, oh, we got to like... We have to like uh, defend ourselves from when the, like the real king comes yeah. and shit. And so I I heard that they're like Deadpool is damn near going to be... They're going to try to go to all the other Marvel universes to get like... Find the main version of each character is damn near. Yeah. So that's what they're saying. Like Hugh Jackman is going to be like the main Wolverine, like prime Wolverine or whatever. And they're going to get them all and like to like fight against, you know, King or whatever the fuck. Or, you know what I mean? That's that's what I damn near. So you think that's going to be Secret Wars? Yeah, yeah. Like Deadpool is going to be like building up to that. You know what I mean? But it's like, uh, like, why are you guys making movies fillers at this point, damn near? You know what I'm saying? Like, Deadpool yeah. is damn near... Like, Ant-Man was damn near a filler. filler movie. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, damn, bro. Y'all trying to be anime. Like, y'all, like, making, fuck? y'all made me pay 13, 20-something yeah. dollars because I probably had to pay for my fucking girl when we went or something. Oh, me, to watch this filler. To watch a filler movie. Oh, God. There's not even a good filler movie, too. I'm like, bro. Oh, me. That's what's interesting about it. Like, I don't know, man. It's just so crazy that, like, the, the OG... Avengers team. Oh, did you even see that that they're trying to do? Oh my they're god, they're trying to bring, bring back, back the Iron OG. Man and Black Widow. And I was shit. like, bro, bro, even if y'all want to try to revive the OG team, it's not gonna save the MCU. I'm sorry. Like, it's, no, the too, only early. Way, it's too early to do it. I'm gonna be the, real. It's way too no, fucking no, no, no. early to do it. The try only way it would work is if, like, they're about to fight King. I'm saying this is, this is the only way it would work, and I think it would, it would. This is gonna be the only cool way they could bring back the, the old characters is if. For some reason, like they bring back, they find other universes where like Robert Downey Jr. is Iron Man, and this one, Chris Evans is Captain America, and this one, it's not like our regular universe. Uh, and then they're they're about to fight Kang, and they all come together, and then Kang kills them instantly. Oh, I think that would be that the only be dope way to do wild. it. Because then we're no, like, no, 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 no. no you know what like, would be crazy and kind of show that he is strong if we do see another universe Avengers, like you said, yeah. And then we do see them put up a fight though, and yeah, we yeah. do see a crazy battle with them fighting him, and he kills the fuck out of them. Yeah. That would be wild as fuck to see. I'm not even gonna lie. I think that and would be the best way to do it. Bring back Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, da, yeah. Da, 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 you know what I mean? Just and to come in and be, do some of this shit yeah. and then they get murdered. You yeah. know what I mean? Something crazy. You know what I mean? But ah, I just don't want them to do it too easy because that would be too disrespectful for the team. No, I think they should do it. As easy? Respectful. Yeah, like I think he should just go and like rip Chris Evans in half and shit, I bro. No. Wait, but why do you think that would like you would like that? I think that would just show like a like, oh, he's like worse than thanos like bruh just killed like a version of the event like, it's not our avengers you know yeah, what I'm saying? True, like, true, true. it's like another universe version like it'd be like the the avengers from his original universe or some shit mm. and he just like you know what would be some, interesting yeah. too if they go the route where they kind of like it's those characters and it's the actors but they're in kind of different costumes 
Like oh, it's yeah, a different yeah, Iron yeah. Man yeah, yeah. suit. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. It yeah. might be like you know the like fucking like a black Iron Man suit that has like the orange inside and shit yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, and that'd then be it's sick. like you know this other version of Captain America, and it's like this other version of Thor. Thor with a mullet, know? exactly, or whatever. <laughs> or it's the um, Thor. Uh, it was damn like with the Thor God of Fist. It's that version of oh, Thor. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen yeah, that yeah, one in the comic. It's like that one. You know what I mean? Or it could be like Jane Foster or some shit. You know what I mean? Or just have like a different version like that, and it's that version of the Avengers. I fuck with that. You know what I mean? Just for the point of time. But then again, I would want Chris Hemsworth to come back. You know what I mean? Of course, you know. Stop, stop, stop. But that's something I'm, if they ever do bring back because I even said I don't know if it's true though I, think I heard it's fake that Robert Downey Jr. Downey said like he's down to come back for no he, he even said it on Joe Rogan's podcast a couple years ago he was yeah, like I mean, yeah, I'll yeah, do yeah. it you but know I'm what saying I, mean? but, I think they should only do it if they're just gonna instantly like kill him I, I don't know about just that I think I think they should wait a couple more years like maybe like seven years so we, it can be and then I think in a big situation all we hear is Iron Man come back and that would be hard. Or, you know what? I'll say this. Not seven years because I'll say right before um, – I'll say right before Spider-Man is going to go out. I think, like, when he's a little bit older, maybe, like, after the Black Suit saga and yeah, all that yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. I think Iron Man should appear again. That'd be I tight. Think that would be cool That'd to be cool. See. That'd be cool. Yeah, like, he pops back up and he's like, hey, kid. You know, that'd be kind of cool. But how, though? Like, that's the thing. I mean, like, we got how? time travel now. We got that's alter dimensions true. and shit like that. True. So it can be a different version of him. That's you know, I think true. that's the best cop out they can do, so we can still let our Tony rest. Yeah, that's cool. I, I just, know? I just want them to like get another version of Iron Man from another universe, yeah. and just like have like just kill him, just kill him. Fuck it, yeah, they could do it. I mean, they could do the Tom Cruise. Yeah, do I'm that cool version. Yeah, 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 but nah, he's too powerful in that one. <laughs> you know, since everybody, they said they everybody thought like he was going to be, yeah, everybody thought Man, he was going to be Iron superior. Man, uh, yeah, yeah, Ultimate Iron Man or whatever. Man, that's such a crazy thing. How like when these movies come out. How much like leaks Lore. come out of like yes, dude. oh we this... spun it so fucking crazy to we're think like, oh, that Tom is... Cruise was gonna be in the fucking movie was yeah, actually we we're like bro it's Tom Cruise's da 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 but is, let alone it's actually crazy it's, it's fucking crazy. what's her name as Captain Marvel <laughs> I was like oh my god how did we even how did we Richards, how did yeah, we yeah, mistake yeah. her for Tom Cruise yeah that's insane <laughs> crazy that motherfuckers really thought that that was gonna be Iron Man nah that's crazy hey speaking of OG bro this is so crazy did you see the OG Fortnite? Oh, yeah. It's coming Did back. Did you play? I haven't played yet. No. Have you played? I haven't played yet. I ain't gonna lie, bro. We gotta jump back. on. I was Chana just gonna say, on. we gotta jump back. We gotta jump on. I gotta for old time's sake? For old time's sake. But they got all the, the whole old map. Yeah, that's heard. Yeah. yeah. They brought back the old map and then like a bunch of like old skins and yep, shit. Like I heard you can even get like the fucking like old battle pass skins and shit yeah, too. Yeah, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's so crazy. Nigga. I heard that Is they that they hit like five million like players yes in one the day. day that it came out yeah bro yeah wild as fuck so that's why i'm like but i heard that it's only gonna stay for a month though yeah which yeah. kind of sucks. sucks it's like I ain't gonna lie. no honestly if they see how good it does they're gonna keep, keep it going. they're gonna keep it because i ain't gonna lie i think what's crazy is this might show them that we never should have changed ever and i think they might just leave it like this forever after i, I think, think they might. I, I think people are gonna get bored of it and they're gonna have to change it again they might eventually, but then again, then they fall into the same loop. <laughs> they're, they're, the same shit. Adding, they're gonna be like, okay, well, oh, oh, wait, 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 we're not just gonna stay the same again, okay? We're gonna add this time. We're adding Homelander, Down. and everybody was this. All right, all right. Okay, I'm play just, a little I'm Homelander. Down, I'll, I'll down, laser I'm a couple down. people, I'm right? Down. And then it's like this. Ooh, and and we're gonna add Omni Man because Invincible's out right now. Yeah, we're like, yeah. oh shit. We're getting Omni-Man? All right, that's pretty... Omni-Man and Homelander. <laughs> so wait, we can fight as Homelander. Mike, bro, we got to do Homelander versus Omni-Man. Yeah, and then we're it. doing that shit, and that's pretty fun for November. I think that's... I think they're going to just keep on... <laughs> They're gonna just keep on, bro. Like they're gonna fall to the same loop. They're unlimited. Like they could get whatever fucking companies they want. Yeah, oh god. Which is cr like that's why it's so crazy to me. Like some of these companies are like Michael Myers, bro. Like yeah, they put Michael Myers in Fortnite, mm -hmm. but they didn't want him to be in Mortal Kombat. Yeah, that's interesting. That was an interesting what choice. What the hell? That was really an interesting choice. I'm not even gonna cap. I was like, how the fuck is this nigga still not in there? You know what I mean? Crazy. Like, yeah, he's one of those. Like, I understand why they didn't put like Ghostface or some other people. I heard that they might add him. Really? And uh, this this yeah. new one? Yeah, they might go face. Well, that makes sense. He might of. be in the next like combat pack or whatever the fuck. Which I think would be kind of kind of cool. I, I feel like you have a lot of cool like uh moves that he could use and shit. But yeah, now nah, that Fortnite shit is fucking great. Like that's honestly a game that I don't think will ever die. Yeah, I mean, which hey, is wait, crazy wait, wait, cause back in the day, I'm kept like when I stopped playing like in like 2019 or whatever. Yeah, I was like, this game is gonna die, bro. Yeah, like, I, I thought gonna, that too. Ain't nobody gonna keep on fucking playing this shit. 
And now here we are thinking about re-downloading this motherfucker to play again. And like. jumping on, nigga, the OG <laughs> on me. It's nah, so but that's just so nostalgic, though, bro. Because I remember playing with y'all when we was, like, in Man, high school high and school, shit. Yeah. You know? bro, I literally... Y'all was on her tub. I got a dub on the day of our fucking graduation. The crazy. morning of our graduation, I got a fucking with dub. the homies, with too. Alan, yeah. yeah. I'm already knowing, bro. So, yeah, that shit's crazy. And that's why I was like, bro, we got to jump on, bro. I think that's the reason why Old they really brought sick, this nigga. shit back. Oh yeah, like, nostalgia. It's nostalgia I, bait. I, I think they were starting to lose, like, player base oh, and shit like that. Oh, hell yeah. So, they're like... Especially their big hitters. Especially the big players that were keeping the game going like, like ninja, ninja Luthu, wasn't Luthu, playing Luthu. it no, like, all, all the ninjas were jumping yeah, off yeah hell yeah you know what i mean all the guys that were going crazy like i forgot the other guy's name too but uh he was like everybody was saying he was like number two to ninja i forgot his name he was like some light skin nigga but uh um, about myth myth exactly yeah niggas like that like bro they're all off that shit yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. i mean since they started adding all this other crazy shit and now you can fucking beat down and snap a nigga and you all this other fucking you can be batman from, and you could be fucking uh breath from the attack on exactly. titan yeah, you be Aaron, nigga, you know what i mean like <laughs> nigga, i can make the rumbling yeah. damn near you know what i mean like jesus christ you can fucking call me i mean awesome yeah buddy, you shit, feel me man. like what the fuck it's so interesting it's damn near so like crazy, what is it becoming bro. you know like, you could literally have, you could have a you could have a squad with fucking kratos <laughs> Uh, Goku, uh, fucking nigga, Leatherface, uh, Eleven from fucking Stranger Things, and Ariana Grande, yeah, and Ariana Grande. I swear <laughs> to God, and that's your squad. Or no, 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 let me do my squad. Okay, let me do my squad. <laughs> All right, I have Batman. Okay. Uh, I have Travis Scott. Okay, that's good. I have um, let's see, let's see. I have Thanos. All right. And I have MJ. Nice. Yeah. That's a good. That's a good squad. Yeah, I have Zendaya. That's a good squad. Mm-hmm, that's my squad. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Is that squad. not crazy? That I that I can I can that build could that really squad. That really be real. No, yeah. that could be real. I could have fucking Rick from Rick and Morty <laughs> on my shit. I could have fucking uh, Leon from Resident Evil. I could fucking have uh, Spider Man. Oh and you can have Deku from fucking uh, <laughs> yeah, Deku my from hero. Fucking my hero, my shit. Yeah, that's my squad, bro. Who you, who you fuck you squad up with? <laughs> Like, that's insane. You can really do shit oh like that. Oh, my God, dude. Fortnite was just getting wild, yeah, they dude. they were getting wild with the shit. Hey, sure. but nah, I was even going to tell you, though. Speaking of, like, OG. Okay, so you remember the original Exorcist? Yeah, yeah. The original Exorcist movie that, you know, um, had God, the girl. Was, like, cursed or some shit like yeah. that. Yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah. you remember some of the shit. I think I told you on a couple episodes ago how, like, the yeah, set. They're using, like, real dead bodies. And, yes, and all this other weird shit. And the the set got hella fucked up. Like, yeah. I mean, the set was, like, apparently cursed after they did this movie. And didn't the girl who played the Exorcist, like, yes. she, like, her, like, back was all fucked up after that? There was and, a like, bunch of shit yeah, that yeah, was yeah, wrong yeah. with her. And she had, like, mental health issues and shit after filming that movie. Isn't that interesting how a movie itself can destroy your mind? But she fucking like plays herself with a crucifix. Yeah, she was. Movie. Yeah, she was like, yeah, that's insane. Wild, and she was talking about like fucking people's mom and that how for their sure, mom is getting. And as like little girl, you know yeah. what I mean? Like that for sure probably fuck you up, bro. Oh, me, because how old was she when that movie came? Like thirteen, fourteen, hella young. Yeah, yeah so it was wild. Hey, you know what's even interesting? I'll get back into it. You know what I heard? The kid that filmed The Shining. Uh, what was his name again? Um, fuck the little boy that's on the yeah, bike. Yeah, yeah, I know. I forgot his name. Um, but he actually during the filming of that. He thought he was just filming like a drama. He didn't know it was a scary movie. He didn't movie. know it was a horror movie, no. Damn, so it was crazy. like they were making it so like chill for a little nigga yeah, yeah. that he was probably yeah. like, oh, okay, all right, we're filming this, this little cool. drama. Yeah, I got this girl scream over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, okay, all right, all right. He thought he was in just like a drama. He yeah, didn't know he was in a crazy. fucking like horror film. But there's even the parts where he's like running. For, damn, that's crazy how they must have filmed that then. Because yeah. like there's parts where he's like running from his dad and shit. Uh-huh. And like his mom is like hiding him in the bathroom remember and he's like yeah, chopping mm-hmm. maybe he might they probably just filmed her running in there with him and then yep. took him out and then yeah, they, they took him out the room and then when he's like yeah, yeah. Hitting, yeah okay that makes sense yeah exactly because they don't want to spook the little nigga yeah yeah, you know yeah. What i mean i also seen uh when they were making the insidious movies you know like the little boy that was in the insidious yeah, 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 i think it was the same the kid that was, i think it was the same kid that was like in the iron man movies should do iron man 3 i think oh shit i think it's that same kid it might be i might be you wrong might be right, but go ahead. might be wrong but uh i guess like you know the the red little demon creature yeah, shit yeah, yeah. i guess before the films like they would let the kid go where the guy's getting his face painted he's like in the oh in so the, you can see him so first. he could get used to him and shit like that and he's all ah. he's all like hey kid like what's up man and he's like He's like, hey, you have like paint on your face, or he's like saying like some like kid shit to him, okay. like just so he wouldn't be hella yeah, fucking so he's not scared. scared when they go on set, there's, there are some like movies. If you look at like older movies, like like horror movies, yeah, they didn't I tell know. those little kids shit. Yeah, I swear to God. Like those like, kids are really fucking I swear terrified to God, like, of Like the thing. kids, I remember I seen uh, behind the scenes for it was like one of the early Friday the Thirteenth, like when Jason first got his mm-hmm. mask, bro. Like no, 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 this wasn't the 
earliest one. It was probably like I say late nineties. It was one of the late nineties ones. He uh it was the guy who plays Jason. I mean he's actually a big ass yeah, dude he'll and shit like that. And they're shooting in the woods and shit like that. It's dark. And they have like all these like little like l- like lights. Like our shit is just like set up in the woods. Mm-hmm. And Jason is like kind of walking around. He's just talking to people. He's like, okay, and then uh, so I just come from there. Okay. All right, cool, cool, cool. And then like, you know, the kids are all just like by like this little like fake campfire or whatever. Yeah. Or like I think it was a real campfire. And then like Jason's like kind of walking behind trees and shit. And he'll be like, hey kids. And then they all were actually screaming because it's like, bro, <laughs> like you know what I mean. Imagine how terrifying That's that is. Terrifying. So it's, it's like, like okay, yeah. the fear in a lot of the early films was probably real for yeah, these little real kids. Yeah, real fear for these little kids. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because they're sure. like, ah, fuck it, they can't be good actors. Let's just actually really? scare them <laughs> yeah. and then just film it. You know what I mean? And they probably got bro, like the sign from their like parents. How many kids were traumatized filming oh, these horror movies? Like the girl from The Exorcist and God. all this shit. It's like, and, and that's what I was even gonna say. So, bro, with the filming of The Exorcist. It's all the other weird shit that already happened of like the set getting cursed and like i think even um they said like every time people try to like record anything there or something like that hella equipment or something like that would just catch fire or some fuck? weird shit like that would be happening and hella people ended up getting like sick or something like that or a couple people that worked on the the film ended up dying eventually damn too. some something super weird like that somebody's probably gonna have to fact check me but this is 100 percent facts and was hella weird so there was this lady that was a part of the movie that voiced this one demon. I don't even know if I can say the name because nigga, I don't want this motherfucker coming no, no, to me. Cool, cool, cool. But yeah, she voices this one particular demon in the movie. And I probably, ooh, I can't even spell it out. I was just going to put it on the screen, but fuck that. I'm not even going to type it. But it was y'all, will, y'all, yeah, it yeah, was, yeah. y'all will Go get watch it. the movie. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, y'all will get it. But basically the lady, she voiced one of the demons. And dude. This is what's super weird about this movie. This is a whole nother thing beyond everything I already told you. Also, this lady, she ended up having a son, right? Her son, uh, I think he was like a little bit older. He's probably like in his late teens. Mm-hmm. Randomly, bro, he ends up, and this, after the filming of this movie, he ends up murdering his whole family, Whoa. including her. Murders everybody. And then he takes two guns. He puts them to his temple and he shoots himself in the head what? and kills himself. With both of the with guns? With both of the guns, yeah. And the whole time when he murdered all his family, he was uh, dressed or wearing a mask of Freddy Krueger. What the fuck? Yeah, super fucking weird. That happened to one of the people that filmed the the movie, yeah. Super fucking weird. That's bro. insane. Yeah, when I heard this shit, I was like, what the fuck, bro? Bro was out of his mind, and nobody so, like, knew why like, he did even, it. Even, like, the crew of the fucking movie were all getting exactly. fucked over. Yeah, so that's why I'd be like, bro, people that don't really believe in this type of shit or y'all want to play those games with all that especially some bad juju that comes with it bro because it's like how the fuck does shit like that even happen yeah bro there's probably a bunch of more stories of like other fucking from that movie no just other movies yeah you know what i mean like i even told you before we did like an episode about this a long time ago where there was just like a bunch of you know know weird happenings uh, i know during like the what was that movie called the one that mel gibson made oh passion of the christ yeah i heard hella crazy shit weird ass shit was going on during that movie like and i remember you were telling me about some other movie it wasn't passion of the christ it was another movie where it was about like god or some shit and the dude that was playing like got, oh, got hit by like yeah, yeah, lightning yeah, yeah, or yeah. some shit right yeah, yeah. no that was passion of the christ that was passion, that of, was christ? passion of christ yeah, yeah, yeah it was. no but did it oh no no didn't mel gibson play no he played jesus in another movie but that wasn't uh, oh okay, that was okay, i forgot okay, what his okay, movie okay, was okay. called actually might have been called passion of the christ too to be honest but um mel gibson did play jesus before but the other one he directed it oh okay okay yeah okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. so the one that is um with the guy who got struck by lightning nigga, twice crazy nigga. you know what i mean i was like god damn like, that's gotta be you know like bro it's i think it's there's ha- something more it's to half it. and half it's yeah, clearly yeah, like yeah it shows both sides i think it shows both sides like okay you want to play around with god this nigga's gonna fucking throw lightning bolts at your goofy yeah. ass. And then you wanna speak certain, you know what I mean, names you out with say certain demon names. But like were they real, real they were using real like demon names, yes. That's crazy like fuck. the one I was gonna tell you right now is a real yeah, that's crazy demonic fuck. name. Yeah, that's yeah like even the names that they were saying, bro, it was wild, dude. So they were really playing around with some dark shit. So Damn. it's like cause you gotta think about it. A lot of these people they're trying to really get into the yeah 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 you know what i mean into the rhythm of what it is like oh, okay i'm actually getting possessed we're actually in this haunted place there's demons actually yeah. here so we got to make it that vibe you know what i mean which is interesting so who fucking knows bro when Holy i seen this shit i was fuck. just like you know so like do you do you because i was talking about this with my brother actually earlier too does that make you believe more in afterlife like actually like heaven and hell things like that 
Yeah, see, shit like that. I really because, bro, believe. if you believe in demons, nigga, you have to believe in a god. Babe. Yeah, no, nah, because, like, when I hear shit like stories like that, where it's like, you know, people were fucking around with the wrong thing, and then they ended up getting fucked over, it does got me thinking sometimes, like, there must be a reason for that. Like, why else? I mean, unless, you know, her her son just had a terrible upbringing or whatever the fuck, maybe he was born with something wrong with him. But it's like... Ah, that's a little cool. And the, the fact that everyone on that movie got fucked up. You know, hella people in that movie got fucked up, you know? But, like, damn, nah, that's either, there has to be something more to it. If, like, you, if you, like, even right now, like, I don't even want you to say the fucking name of that thing, you know, know. what I mean? Yeah, I because of, like, too. what might happen, possibly. Like, even shit like that, like, there has to be a reason why people are even scared to, like, speak on it. Nah, facts, yeah. I mean, and then there are people who like, you know, I'll, I'll say it. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I'm God. You know, and it's like, uh, like, I don't even want to play with that. It's no, like, that's what I'm saying. That's why I never touched just no the chance, board, Just the chance no. of that shit being real. real. Yeah. It's too scary. One of my, um, one of my cores got a tattoo of the, um, the, the piece, not like the whole oh, board. Oh, yeah, but the, the Ouija piece that just you, the, yeah, you got that top. And I was like, I was like, bro, I ain't gonna count to you, yeah, bro. Like, bro, you you're just, a wild for you that. Just less of I was like, <laughs> I was like, I know you didn't get the whole board and shit, but like, yeah, but you bro, have way there, though. You got the shit that they use to talk, to talk to the, and you have spirits. it on your fucking skin, bro. Yeah. Like, so it's like, nigga, does that mean you can, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like use your arm to fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how I was like, yeah, you're kind of, like, who knows what that shit can do, bro. That's why I'm like, I don't know about that. I don't want to play with none of that shit, bro. You know, but. But nah, even uh, I think I told you this before, bro. I had a neighbor when I was probably like seven or eight, bro. I swear to God, I had a fat crush on her, bro. Uh, she was like probably two years older than me. You could ask my brother right after we get done recording, bro. I swear to you. Uh, I'm not gonna say her name because I'm gonna forget to bleep her. <laughs> like last time <laughs> nah but but nah so yeah it was my neighbor bro and i remember i thought she was hella cool and i just had a fat crush on her so i would always want to do everything she wanted to do yeah, like yeah. she'll be like oh you know uh i want to go skateboard and i never skateboarded so i'm like oh yeah, yeah, yeah i'm down bro, you know got a penny board. Yeah, exactly bro so I, I wanted to do that and i remember even this one day bro i was sick and i told you about this i said um you know the forest over there by my house yeah yeah she wanted to go in there just one day and it was like me her and my brother and it was like getting late and she was like oh we should go explore inside the forest like i'm like bitch do we look like the scooby game <laughs> you know what i mean like what are you talking yeah, about bro this, and and yeah and she ended up calling me a party pooper because i was too scared and then i ran inside and cried i was like bro what i was like i'm a party pooper no i mean but fuck that you know? though and then no nigga i'm telling you right now though after that day i promise you i was like you know bro, i can't be scared of none of that shit no more bro whatever it is let's do it i remember randomly bro this girl was so like scary low-key like and now that i'm older and i think about it, it's like bro that's really eerie to ask a kid especially i'm two years younger than you are like 10 years old and you're asking me shit like this she was like this she said she was like um she was like sharif do you know what the devil is what the bro, fuck? i put this on my dad's grave i was like no i didn't know what that was at the time my parents didn't tell me none of that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah i just knew what god was yeah, yeah i thought yeah, that was yeah, it yeah, yeah i didn't know what hell was i didn't know about any of that shit she gave me the rundown when i say she scared the fuck out of me Instantly, I went inside to ask my dad. I was like, Dad, is hell real? My dad was like, Yep. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> Just straight up, like, Yeah, it's real. <laughs> it's there. I go, He damn it, used it to his advantage. Like, yeah, you do bad shit. Right <laughs> you know, down you there. Going straight up there. I was, yeah. like, no. I was like, And it's hot. No, that is crazy to think about. To, like, to tell a kid. No, like, yeah. And she told me that, bro. And then I remember she, that was my for, my portal into hell. Yeah, I swear yeah, to God, yeah. that was the b beginning. She opened it, nigga. Yeah, after right after that. The next day, she ends up coming outside. She was like, she was like, have you ever read these books? And it was like, uh, it said like, what was that book called again? They made a movie about it. It was like something scary stories. Oh, scary stories in the dark. There you go. She br brought that book out. And I was like, bro, I didn't like none I of this cap, shit, The bro. drawings inside of those books were actually terrifying. fucking scary. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, bro, what are you doing? And I was terrified of all that type of shit, bro. So, you know, instantly after this, I got to go inside and watch Arthur <laughs> or some shit, bro. I got to, you know what I mean? I got to wash that down, nigga, with some Arthur. And, bro, she brings out a Ouija board after that. No I way. my dad's grave, this bitch brings out a, ask Abe after this. She brings out a Ouija board. And she was just like, do you want to play with me? And I was like, what is that? I didn't know what it was, bro. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, well, I too, Mike. I'm sorry, bro. I might have let some demons in you, you took a little... You I, took I a little it, yeah, I didn't know what it was. I just went like this. I was playing with it, whatever. And I was like, what is it? And she was like, you can talk to like ghosts. And I was like, hmm. I didn't think anything of it. I was yeah, like, that's like, kind of oh, cool. that's cool to talk to ghosts. Yeah. You're not thinking... I'm not of, thinking it's demons. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm like, cool. So I'm like, what can I ask them? She's like, you can ask them anything. Oh hell! Doesn't that uh, sound eerie now that yeah, like I'm yeah, older? Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And I was like, "What the fuck, bitch?" Because it's like, so well, I mean, do you think that she knew what it did? Yeah. Wait, I mean, yeah. Obviously, she's talking she about. She got like, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how old was she? She was like ten or eleven. No, she was 
11 because she was uh, three years older than me. My bad. Cause she's a year older than Abe too. That's yeah. insane. Yeah, At 11, 11 year old, years old, you have a fucking. I just got children now, but like 11 bro. year old, you have a fucking Ouija board. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, I swear to God on everything. My neighbor. Bro. I don't even think at 11 I even knew what that I was. I didn't even really. know what a Ouija board was. That was the first time I ever seen one. Nah, that's actually insane. Yeah, I never even seen it on TV or nothing. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? I'm 11 yeah, years yeah. old, so I was like, I mean, I said I'm 11 years old. I'm like eight years old, so I was like, what the hell is this? I'm just thinking it's a board game. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm thinking it's like fucking With letters on it. Yeah, and shit. I'm yeah, thinking yeah, it's like yeah. Monopoly or some shit. You know? <laughs> I'm just like, oh, okay. Like I'll fucking play this. I'm like, I don't know how to play. Like, how do I win? Nah, that's why not. I think you even bought like Ouija boards at like fucking Spencer's yeah, or you some can. shit like yeah, that. Yeah, super weird, bro. I'm kind of like, why are we doing this? You know? I don't. Know. I mean, Twitch. I mean, if you want to like portals to hell. If, hey, if you want to open a portal yeah, to hell, that's on you. That's like, don't you, do that shit around me, yeah, please. Bro, pretty, pretty please with a cherry on top, because <laughs> I don't want none of that shit around you, bro. Cause I'll even I'll even see people, bro, like that I've like worked with or some shit like that. Yeah. And they'll have like crazy tattoos of like fucking. Oh, like, I know pentagrams and yeah. shit. Yeah, I know, bro. I seen one actually. Uh, this girl, I seen her at Walmart. She had one on her chest, fat pentagram. I was like, are you crazy? Like, like I'm like, holy shit. Yeah, like you must really I'm not like, give bitch, a fuck. I'm like, yeah, bitch, you got if balls. you didn't care about, like, I'm like, look, if you wanted to go to hell before, dude, now you You're have for sure there a first. I'm talking about first class. Team. Yeah, hell yeah. Like I'm talking, a about, lot of I'm, talking about, I'm talking about yeah, you know how the rest of them niggas. I'm like everybody else. They gotta wait in that hot ass line, <laughs> bitch. You're going. I'm talking about you're going through like a tube or something. Yeah, you're going straight to the big guy. Mm-hmm. I'm not even gonna cap. That's insane. You know, bro, a tattoo of uh, Instagram, like because like bro, and it's just so crazy that like people don't even. And that's what's so interesting to me too. That I think is like, you know, some people believe that those things are used as tools for fear to instill fear into people. Like, oh, you're gonna go to hell if you do this. You're gonna go yeah, to hell yeah, if you yeah, do that, yeah. right? And I ain't gonna lie, if it was fake, <laughs> it is a good way to instill fear into people, right? Yeah, hell yeah. putting the claws in me. Ah, oh, my thumb. Ah, ah, Sleeping. that kind of hurts. Ah, ah, I look. You gonna take it out? Yeah, move your oh, fucking fuck. hand. Fuck, it hurt. But nah, bro. You see, you let them. You let that guy I control know. too yeah, much of what's yeah, like I'm what not, you're what's supposed happening. to do. You know yeah, what I mean? Right. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. But you got control, nigga. I got full control. If he comes God. over here, he knows he can't be doing. He that knows what's up with you, though. Even though he bit me earlier, that. <laughs> That was actually my fault because I, I was putting my hand in his face. Oh, ah, yeah, so he was, yeah, like, so he was the teasing fuck? me. Yeah, because he was trying to, he was trying to, I don't know why he likes my left hand, but he was trying to get me to pet him with, with my left hand. And I didn't want to move my arm like this, so I just had it like this. Ah. And I just had it over his head. So yeah. I think I kind of like scared him. Yeah, because he, he knows that you be occupied with the right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> nah, but, nah, but uh, nah, I was going to even tell you this too, though, bro. People, it's so crazy that like how I said people can use that like as a tool for fear. To instill fear into people, like, oh yeah, but you do this or that, you're going to hell, bro. Like, even if it's like, nigga, yeah, you you drink that water over there, you're going to hell. Yeah, you know, and you could teach a tribe of people or a group a group of people that that's the law, that's the way that the world works, that's the way that da da. And I'm not saying it's wrong or whatever, but at the same time, I'm just saying that it's like, it's so interesting that we've been taught all these things, and some people still just don't give a fuck. Yeah, now this is crazy. Like, uh, I think we talked about it a while ago. I remember seeing this shit like online, like hella randomly, like a while ago. Where it was like a study that they did on like on like apes or monkeys or something. Yeah. Where they put like four apes in a room and then they have like a ladder with like bananas on top oh, of the ladder yeah. and shit. And so the monkeys would try to go up and they'll fucking spray it down with a hose. Yeah. And then eventually they'll know like, okay, we're not supposed to get the uh the banana. We're not supposed we're to get the bananas and shit. So then they'll end up taking a monkey out, yeah. they'll throw a new monkey in there. And that monkey doesn't know like what happens to you. Yeah. So he tries to go, he up, tries there, to go up there, and they'll they'll pull him down, and start beating the fuck out of him, yeah, like kill him. Don't you fucking don't yeah, do you know that, what I mean? Because we finna get sprayed. Yeah. And then they said after they'll bring in a after whole what, group, yeah. a whole new group of monkeys. We'll get to the point where none of them has ever been sprayed. Yeah. None of them even tried to go up to the fucking thing, or like they never been sprayed by the hose going up to the bananas. But they just know they just that know they that they shouldn't go up there. But so none of them has even tried, though. Exactly. And you know what's even interesting? They even did another study that kind of uh, ties right into that, that there was, um, I think it was fleas or gnats or something. Mm-hmm. They locked it in a jar, and the fleas were, like, jumping, and they were, like, tapping the top of the jar. So they kept hitting it, hitting yeah, it, hitting yeah, yeah. it. And they locked them in there for, like, a day, and then they opened it up the next day. And I swear to God, bro, well, even though it's open the they were only jumping at a certain distance and it was like they were still hitting the mm. top of the thing and they just so now they were stuck at that level forever they like never, they really thought they were they, trapped they still thought they were trapped they never left the jar that's crazy super interesting and people are trying to say like that's a good example for like society yeah yeah you know yeah. what i mean is that you tell people that like oh you can't you gotta stay in between these can't lines jump, for so you can't long. jump that high exactly so then it's like what are people gonna do 
it becomes they're gonna the limit norm. themselves to yeah. and, it becomes the norm yeah. to limit yourself so we start thinking that that doesn't even that's not even possible yeah i remember kanye west said this one thing and i actually coffee was, tables yeah actually that was a, a dope ass quote but like he was like you tell a kid not to jump off like, you know a coffee table when he's a little kid or something like that eventually you, you hear that so much in life where you grow up and you're surrounded by all these coffee tables or some shit like that and i was like that's like it's a weird way to put it but that's like a, a good ass like analogy of that shit it's like you constantly keep telling people like oh yeah you can't jump that high or you can't jump off of this or you can't do this and to the point where people aren't even gonna be like well why even fucking bother yeah. like i know i'm not gonna be able to jump that high yeah so why even try Why even try it yeah that's what's interesting about all that shit you know so i don't know bro it's it's just it's crazy what all this stuff just means bro in general you yeah know? so it's so crazy what you could do to like a human mind especially yeah. like you have one growing up because like i could teach a kid like i could have a kid and be like cats are the worst animals in the world yeah don't ever fucking get near a cat if you get when you like literally sponges. die kids like sponges, you know what i mean yeah. and the kid will grow up thinking cat. cats are terrible yeah dude speaking of damn near brainwashing the kid and growing up dude this is actually a great story i heard this today and this isn't even one of my stories i just thought about this off the top of my head you gonna love this i can't even really tell you the names of these people but somebody's going to know exactly what i'm talking about or i'll look it up myself after but basically it was this story about this um this girl she ends up uh hiring a, a private investigator to basically like see what's going on with her boyfriend or her husband or something like that right so the private investigator ends up you know doing their job they end up finding out that yeah her boyfriend was cheating on her she's like fuck it is what it is right so then after that i don't remember if she stays with the guy or whatever mm -hmm. but she ends up being like oh okay well i want to see what this private investigator can find on me just curious right mm -hmm. the girl's curious like just to see what this private investigator can find on her on herself so the private investigator starts doing his research or her research and they end up finding out a bunch of interesting shit about her first they ended up looking up a girl's name they're like okay whatever we'll search up your name type shit and they come back to her and they tell her what they find they're like this is hella interesting it says that you died like five or ten years ago what the fuck and like what are you talking about or no my bad not even that uh, oh yeah, yeah yeah it was like actually no maybe like probably even longer than that it was a fat minute she's been dead she's been dead for like probably 20 years or something like that right so she's like what the hell and so she starts looking into it more she's like asking like questions like you know the guy or the girl asking them like how can that be whatever with the whoop yeah, because how would she even like go to work or get her driver's license or get mail like any shit like that okay and then the guy goes like wait a minute this is super fucking weird and i don't know if this is possible but you should potentially call your mother so she's like what and she's like, okay so she calls her mom and she's like mom uh i hired a pi and this guy told me that basically um you know my name it popped up this person apparently that's been dead that's been dead because i'm clearly still fucking here yeah so it has to be another girl with my name and her mom kind of like freezes up and was like okay i'm gonna need to like talk to you or talk to this person or whatever the fuck right so they end up finding out basically long story short because the pi ends up being like okay bro let me go look into like mama dukes so looks into the mom ends up finding out that the mom and dad when they were younger they had a daughter Whoa. and or a son whatever i actually know they had yeah, a daughter yeah, yeah. and they ended up accidentally murdering their daughter what i forgot exactly fuck? how she died i think it was like by uh she got strangled by something or some shit like they just weren't watching her type yeah. shit. yeah like, oh neglect it was yeah, because neglect. of neglect yeah, yeah the baby died because of neglect and they didn't want to you know go to jail for it so they ended up kidnapping a random person from like a hospital or something like, or maybe like on the street or from the hospital most likely and they raised the baby up that ended up being that girl bro whoa yeah super fucking crazy nigga and she found that out because the whole time she was just trying to find out if her ex was cheating i mean her boyfriend was cheating damn crazy when i heard that shit i said what the fuck imagine that you and your parents they kind of look even, like you they kind of no, how would she, you even feel though like exactly my parents aren't are my, my parents. parents they kidnapped me from my real parents and you want to know what's even eerier about it they didn't do anything to her 
Yeah, yeah, like they raised her as a normal raised daughter. Her as yeah, a yeah. normal daughter. Like that's what I'm saying. Like, how would you feel? Probably like, took prom pictures, all that shit. It's like I still had a good life, but I, it God, wasn't my life though. Like, yeah. my parents are somewhere without a baby. But you know, what I know it's interesting about it. Did she how ever find feel? her real parents? I don't know about that. I actually would have to look. Deeper, that would be but, my first but, mission after no, you're finding that out. Like, I gotta but find wait, out wait, who the fuck I'm related to. Let me ask to. you this though: How would you feel if you end up finding out? And your parents' lives were fucking terrible. My original parents' your lives. Your original parents' lives were terrible. And the family that you got, they're well off. They're cool. That would be really conflicting. That's what I'm trying to say. Because it's like, those are my real parents over there. Yeah. But like, I'm living the good life with my oh God. parents who kidnapped me. Oh, me. You're living like fucking Will Smith. That is such a... <laughs> well, not... not Jaden. You're living like Jaden or something. Yeah. Well, I was saying in the Fresh Prince. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But like, that is... Not with Jaden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. None of that. But... I don't know. See, that's such a. I honestly don't know how I would feel because it's like I grew up my whole life yep. thinking that these were my parents. Yeah. And then now I found out that they're not my parents. At their all. original daughter died. Yep. And I was take. I was taken. Yeah. And they just like, you know. That's so they just fucking me, insane. Basically. Yeah, yeah, in yeah, place yeah. Because they fucked up. Super interesting. I heard that. Shot wait, wait, wait. Scary. So hold. Okay, so hold on. I'm, I'm kind of confused now. Go ahead. Because the way that the PA found out about PI, I mean, found yeah. out because he looked up her name or whatever, or the PI looked up her name yeah. and found out that she was dead. That's it said that she was dead. Yes. Why would the parents name her the same no, name? No, 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 no. Like, why would the parents like uh, report that their kid died and then go kidnap another wait, 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 girl wait, wait, wait. and I don't name know. it no, no, the no, same? Hold on, hold on. I don't know if they. You see what I'm saying, though, yeah, right? Yeah, like, I that's kind of no, crazy. I know what you're saying. If you're saying that, like, how did the baby end up coming up missing if they but then again i mean hmm. no i'm saying like because how how no i know what you're saying yeah there like, must have been a fire or something like yeah, that saying that the baby that, died yeah so it's like wouldn't you be like didn't you just say your baby died last week how are you back with another baby with the same name mm, that's interesting i don't know i can't even really explain that to you i personally wouldn't be able to yeah, yeah no, I that's like how does that. that how does that work though? But yeah, the, I don't if know. The, but either way, there's like, probably some explanation yeah, yeah, that yeah. I probably fucking butchered or some but shit. But either way, like if yeah. that's how, that's still insane that they, their baby died. Yeah, and they stole another baby. That's what I'm saying, buddy. Just like they didn't even try to just make another one. That's what's even crazier, but but then again, I think they were just thinking like, nigga, that's a whole another nine months. How the fuck are we gonna get away with this? We got to, we need one now. We need a baby stat. Yeah, maybe they just didn't want to get in trouble type shit. Yeah, no, that's for surely what they yeah, were trying yeah, to avoid yeah, jail yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? But then it's like, damn, so, like, are they really good people or are y'all fucking, like, fugitives, nigga, yeah, yeah, or yeah. some shit? Y'all are ducking and dodging the law, nigga, because y'all basically murdered your You're, last child. Yeah, no, that's crazy. And then now y'all got a do-over to be the, the parents y'all wanted to be. Or you think maybe it was, like, you know, maybe they just fucked up on their first try and they needed yeah, another basically, try. That's yeah. damn near what happened. Yeah, like, it's literally a They do-over. really fucked up on their first try and said, all right, we'll try better we'll this, do, this next one. Yeah, and the, that's then it got so eerie that they didn't really give a fuck. Especially the fact of like you kind of have to be a bad person to, steal to someone take someone's child. baby right after your baby fucking died because you fucked up. Yeah, bro. Nah, that's actually insane. You bro. know, it's like you're acting like it's a toy. Like you just broke your toy. And yeah, you're or like, like a fuck. like a like a dog or some shit. Yeah. Like, oh, my dog died. I'm just gonna steal the dog from like down the street or some shit. That's so wild to me, bro. A baby and that's you raised crazy. it up. Crazy. You know? Yeah. Interesting. When I heard. I, I wonder if like. Where was she? Like, did they go to like another town to do this? Was it in the same town? Wait, what or? do you mean when she when she like went? when they took? Where did they take her from? Like, was it from their same city? Like, did they just oh, go to the hospital downtown uh, or some shit, or did they go to like? I don't even know. I didn't, I didn't see too many details about that. That's, though, what, that's what I'm, I'm curious. I'm actually about, you curious. Know what I mean? like, that's that's crazy as fuck that they yeah, just. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it probably was like a town over or something. Bruh, like that. I don't that think the hospital must have it. the worst security cameras or oh, security for sure. to snatch that, a baby up. You walked up. That that's the type of shit that makes me kind of scared. It's just like. What if my fucking baby gets snatched up? Or I heard all sorts of like babies. Nigga, what swapped. if you got snatched up? What if I got swapped? I know. I, what if yeah. you got swapped? Mm. Think about that. Like, isn't that crazy, bro? You would not know. You know what I mean? They just no, walked I'm in. They're real. like, they're like, damn, we put the two black babies next to each other. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, fuck, like, bro. Fuck. Uh well, just give that one to the ones in uh 13B and give those ones to the one in like uh 15A. Are you sure? Bro, just do it, bro. Just do it, bro. We I'm, fucked I'm up. Pretty sure that's I'm pretty the, sure that's the baby that came yeah. here with that family. Ah, they won't notice. <laughs> Ah. Like isn't that crazy, bro? Yeah, and I've heard so much stories of people finding out that they were swapped at birth. Nigga, no, even imagine back in the day when we didn't have all the technology yeah. and stuff we have. 
bro. You know, it probably was happening all the fucking time, dude. You no, know, do you know how many? Even beyond that, think about it. We didn't have all this stuff to be like, oh, that child's mine. Yeah, like yeah, I'm talking yeah. about, even with a girl just having a baby, it was like a girl could have like be. I'm like, it's my girl. I'm smacking her every other day, and then she goes and gets fucked by this other dude. He's the one that gets her pregnant. She comes back to me that while I'm pregnant. still currently yeah, yeah. smacking, and then I'm like, this, babe, we're expecting. Yeah, yeah. And then it is what it is. Yeah. And, and then you now never know. I'm just raising this guy's baby, and then like I'm just gonna be like, huh? Why is the baby blonde? Yeah. And that's it. It's just a recessive gene. Yeah. And she's <laughs> like, oh, my grandfather had blonde hair. <laughs> yeah, like that's. Like, oh, all right. All right, yeah. that makes sense, kind of. Yeah. And you just let it be. Crazy. You're just happy to have a kid. Like that's what like I like. I'm thinking like imagine like mine. I have a common name. Like yeah. Michael's a pretty fucking common name. Okay, I, especially yeah. I think like in the 2000s when I was born because you yeah, know like yeah, Michael Jackson, Michael, Michael Jordan, Jordan yeah. all this shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Michael so Myers. I, I feel like Michael Myers. There you go. But I feel like Michael's such a common name. There must have been another baby in the same room as me mm -hmm. that was like Michael Rodriguez or some yeah, shit. Close enough. And it just said Michael R on his on his oh, little God. name tag or yeah. some shit. You know what I mean? They're like. Damn, we got two Michael R's up in this bitch. Two Michael Rodriguez. <laughs> You're Michael you know Rodriguez. You know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. they're like that must be so scary. What would you do if you found out one day that I'm actually somebody else? That you were swapped at birth. I'm gonna be real, bro. I'll be sick as fuck. Like to a degree. Like even though I have like my brothers and everything like that, I'll just be like, <sighs> What would you do? I'm gonna be real. Would you try to like nah, connect with your your, your original family? family? Yeah, your real family, I guess. Not really, bro. I think it's kind of one of those things of like, like, like how do I say this? Like, you know, a situation like, like okay, if like Will Smith in I keep using Will Smith as an example, <laughs> <laughs> but in Fresh Prince, that's a great example. His dad was alive and he wasn't in his life. Yeah, yeah, and he yeah. looked at Uncle Phil more like a dad yeah, than yeah, him. Yeah. It's like okay, well, yeah, like if I can re reconcile with my dad, whatever the fuck we didn't have or what we. Sh but but know. I feel like that's different because like his dad left him knowing that he had some. But it's like that was none of those. That wasn't your parents' fault, and that wasn't like your original parents' fault that like you guys were switched. Like that's really on the hospital type shit. Yeah. So it's like. That would be so weird though, because it's like these are my real parents, but they're strangers to me, and I don't want to live with them. That's it's what like, I'm trying to say. Yeah, this like, is my family over here, yeah, bro. Like, what the it's fuck? basically like now I have to get to know my mom and dad. Like, that's weird. Yeah, like, and it's like in their son. Yeah, it's like he's like, yo, bro, I love it here, nigga. Yeah, it's I'm like, not going <laughs> anywhere, dude. I'm Michael Rodriguez, nigga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like dude like, it's okay bro. i don't like, want to be i don't want to be i just wanted to come see my mom yeah, and dad yeah, bro. yeah and it's like who you calling mom <laughs> and dad bro he's tripping heck hard it's like dude i'm not trying to take your place bro okay he's like i don't want to be michael robles okay i'm fucking michael rodriguez i'm bro. fine where the fuck i'm at bro <laughs> how about you get out <laughs> it's like damn bro all right nigga shit but uh, that is crazy though it's like yeah i i just how think, would you even feel with that i moment? think truly bro i would just be like I would just be shook. It would be for surely a little world breaking, for oh, sure. you know, mind breaking for surely of for like, sure. like what the hell? This like, whole time, I'm, this whole time, I've, I've been related to any of you. Guys. I've been yeah, I've been living with strangers, but they, 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 yeah. but they weren't strangers they because they raised though. me good. They fed me, nigga. They that's took care a, of me. That's such a trippy fucking thing. But I, I think yeah, if that happens, I think I'll still place. try to like, I'll still try to meet them though. Be cool with them. Yeah, I would a little and bit. And then whoever was the was the me, I'll be yeah. like, I guess we're like brothers, low key. Yeah, I'll be like, all right, bro. <laughs> what if that nigga was just like, nah, bro, you mean, nigga. That's what it is. <laughs> I think I just be like, bro, I guess we're just kind of like brothers in a weird way, bro. Yeah, like, I we're mean, swapped that yeah. verse, dude. I'll be like, bro, we're variants. Would you try to be, yeah, that's really your variant. <laughs> would you try to be friends with him? I think I'll be trying to cool him out. I'll be trying to be cool with cool my variant. variant. Yeah. Michael Rodriguez, like, we're, yeah. we're just homies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sheriff Kababi. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm cool to him. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like Fuck that, it, bro. I don't know. I mean, I think it would just be very uncomfortable at first, though. To hell be real, yeah. like, hell damn, yeah. nigga, like, what am I doing? First like, thing, what I'm, am I? Hey, after all that, after all that, like, damn, like my family. After I'm having that thing, I'm gonna be like this. Oh, I'm about to get a bag from that oh, hospital. Yeah. Are you kidding me? I swear to God, I'll be like, bro, I'll be like Michael Rodriguez, nigga. Let's go. Yeah, come let's on, go get bro. Our bag, bro. Let's go get our fucking woody, bro. Yeah. We're swapped at birth. You I'm kidding like, me, brother? Let's go get our bag, for nigga. sure. I'm, I'm, I'm suing the hospital to the fucking ground. I Are you kidding me, you, nigga? I'm suing the pants off everybody. <laughs> <in there. laughs> Anybody who's working there, like, oh yeah, let me get with the fucking. <laughs> just pull out the money in your wallet. I'm oh, not gonna really? walk there with a bag over my, God. with a bag in my hand, like just throw your wallet in there, nigga. Yeah, I'm like, put your wallet in there, nigga. Everything, bro. I don't give a fuck. What car you drive? Yeah, I'll be. Oh. That's you? That's you outside? All right, throw your keys up in here. That's you outside, baby? <laughs> oh, yeah, throw them in there. I swear to God, I'll be like, bro, everything that you niggas have is mine yeah, now, bro. I'm forever. the pants Are off you of you. I'll be like, nigga, I damn near own a share of <laughs> Kaiser Permanente, you goofy-ass <laughs> niggas. Stop. 
Come on. <laughs> Which is crazy. Ah, but uh man, we're gonna get out of here, bro. I'm gonna yeah, end it. I know that was pretty abrupt. Yeah, but, it's all right, man. Uh, we gotta get this guy out. Uh, yeah, we gotta find we this gotta, guy. Yeah, get we this gotta guy find, back home. Yeah, we gotta get strong. him back home, guys. It's started getting too late. <laughs> Uh, we're probably gonna get him a little glass of milk. Yeah, I heard it's bad to give cats milk. I actually. was just gonna say it. Yeah, yeah I actually we'll did. Give some good. water. Get some water, a little salmon. Yeah, maybe a little salmon. Get throw a little fish to, uh, yeah, for yeah, the yeah, for yeah. the road. <laughs> yeah, some goldfish. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's nice. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys liked this episode. It was kind of a little, little random one, really. Was, you know, we're yeah. shifting into the, uh, the holiday season. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna get back. It's gonna make sense. We're gonna get back to that Thanksgiving shit eventually. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, like, subscribe, ring that bell. Follow us on everything, you know, yeah. same name on everything on Instagram, YouTube, Spotify, you know, our personal Instagrams are on our Instagram and stuff. So, uh, yeah, tune in. Hope you guys like this one. Comment, like, subscribe. That was a big stretch. From yeah, that you guy. saw that? You did like the Halloween cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen that. That's yeah. tight. But, uh, yeah, hope you guys like this one. Be safe and uh, we love you guys. Yeah, love you guys. Bye Catch bye. you on the next oh, one. Oh, thanks to our special guest. Oh, yeah, um, you forgot to say. Fluffles. Mr. Mr. Fluffles. Yeah, I hope we have you in another episode. Fluffles, and, um, you want to say hi? Fluffles, look. Put your camera, uh, put, put your mic down towards us so they can hear him. Fluffles. 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 Do you have something to say? Fluffles. Yeah, he's chilling. Well, uh, I guess Fluffles has nothing to say. <laughs> yeah, I guess he's, I guess he's all, he talks he's too all much. He's all tuckered out. Yeah, he talked way too fucking much. <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth, Fluffles. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, y'all. Bye-bye. Yeah.